Hey, it's another Saturday night. Welcome to the Grim Dark. Where we have a special Walking Dead one shot tonight since we're missing Brandon. And we have a special guest tonight. We have Kelsto with us from uh, Tuesday hey. and Friday DM. Happy Saturday, everybody. Woo! We are missing Scott. He has not responded yet. And uh, I don't have the overlay set up with names and shit because I was running behind on overlay crap. So, uh, sorry about that. We trusted you. I know, and you should not do that. Just like I'm going <laughs> to fuck up doing these rules and stuff because it was a last minute thing. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. Nobody else knows the rules either. You know the rules, and so do I. Wait. It's time to die. <laughs> That's the only rule. Man, this not having those names on there really pisses me off and is bugging me. I spent too much time on artwork and getting the overlay set up that I didn't do the important parts. So like, just put the names on there and get some notes. But here we are. We're going to try to have some fun. And if it's not fun, hey, sucks for us. <laughs> All you need to know is I'm the handsome one. So uh, on your screen, uh, you've got the first one there is Harley. Or the, the undead, the zombie is me. Then you got Harley. What? Then you got Fiona. And uh, yes. Kelso's playing Harley. Who's playing Fiona? Uh, Jack. Jack's playing Fiona. Then there yeah. is Jackson. Who's playing Jackson? That would be me. Kate is playing Jackson. And then on the lower role there, the blonde haired is Grace. That would be I. That's Nicholas, followed by Luca. Luke. It says, Yo. Is that you? Yeah. That's scary. So I guess the last one is uh, Kalani. That would have been Scott. So maybe he will show up. Hopefully. I don't know where he's at. So uh, we'll give a breakdown here. Just half a year ago, everything seemed to be working out fine. You managed to get out of Atlanta, and you kept adding both people and resources to your haven. Uh, mechanically, everybody, it's kind of like uh, in the TV series, you've got, uh, damn, I'm forgetting the name, Hilltop, or wherever, those are their havens. So you, you, that's where you, you had one of those. Uh, Brandon, uh, your self-appointed leader, was good at making the, the hard decisions while keeping everybody happy. Then something happened. Was it plain bad luck? Or did you somehow anger a power beyond and above? During a bad rainstorm, the roof collapsed in on the haven. The entire plantation was swept away by the water and many in the group caught pneumonia. This would have been easy, uh, easily treated before the outbreak, but not in the world of the dead where medicine is a rare commodity. One of the first of many to die in the sick bed was Brandon. Many more uh, are extremely ill, and you are about to lose them all. A few have managed to avoid getting sick or have, or have had the disease and managed to pull through. Those few, you and your friends, have left uh, the haven in search of a miracle. But where to start looking? The closest drugstores were all plundered. You tried going to the nearest hospitals, but were surrounded by the dead and had to run for your life complicate matters you have seen the signs of another group of people moving around in the area car tracks shells from rifles and brained walkers this morning you woke up in a small community called alford springs and as you wake up uh harley points in the uh morning sun to you up, up there and uh you look up to the sky you, you saw something shining like gold on the top floor of a nearby open wall parking garage, the reflective metallic paint of an ambulance. It could be your salvation, or it could be nothing. But it is the only chance you got. So at this point, as you wake up, what is what's everybody look like? You don't have to go by what I made the artwork and shit for. What do, what do you look like? Uh, how did you uh, what, come to, to this little town? You know, What did you go through to get here? What you sure? Yeah, I'll go first. Um, so I'm going to look exactly like how you have me, just because it makes it easier for me to remember. Um, yeah, essentially, was a drifter before, was a drifter after, and have been drifting ever since. 
Um, probably stop by here, probably not for too long. Uh, you know, drifting where drifting is safe these days. Who wants to go next? I will go next. So I'm playing Jackson. Um, he's got an excellent hat. It doesn't look like that. His hat is a fine alpaca fur hat. Very nice with the ear covers. He wears it when it's hot out. It's it's not weird. Don't say it's weird. Um, he looks between 20 and 50 years old. And uh, he's he's rugged from life on the farm. Don't, no, don't say it's weird, please. It's That's not weird. weird. Who's next? Oh my god. It's weird, Kate. Yeah, it's very weird. Uh, so, I'll, Kate, I'll... do you milk your alpacas? No, they're for petting. She literally said she's an alpaca farmer. They're only for petting. She harvests them. You sick for of meat me. and wool. No, no, no. In, the, in my log, it says, my dream was to raise alpacas, not for the fur of the meat, but to offer people to come and pat them. That's my dream. Why did, it's you, weird. Why did you, why open did you call yourself a farmer? That's what no it word. says. I'm working with what I got, people. Uh, if you want to eat them. I guess uh, I'll, I'll go next. Uh, I'm I'm going to do the same. I'm, I'm going to stick with what you've got given me because uh, also easier to remember. Um, I'm, I'm going to do it like we're at a, at a, a trip or double A meeting. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Grace. Hi, Grace. Hi, Grace. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a former former uh, Olympic dream, uh, sprint. Uh, however, I got injured and um, my dreams uh, were crushed along with uh, my knee. And uh, I decided to become a police officer. Uh, mostly because I thought that there would be uh, a lot of physical activity involved. Turns out, I actually just need to talk to people for the most part, which is a really good thing that I'm shy. <laughs> what event in the Olympics? Um, you know what? An event I always thought was really cool was the fucking uh, the pole vault. Nice. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say pole vault. Pole vault. Yeah. Uh. I don't think there's much. I I know I, I dabble in uh patching up uh, scratches and uh, minor wounds, but uh, you know, if a band aid and um some hydrogen peroxide can't fix it, uh, that's kind of where my skill set ends. I'll go next. Uh, I'm Luca. I, uh, Luca Woods, you know, found it early on that it was a little bit easier to tell people what they wanted to hear than uh, move dictionaries door to door with my dad was uh, not a pleasant experience in the, uh, Alabama Heat, I can I can tell you that much. A door-to-door -door dictionary salesman. What a life. Yeah, he's a pretty big idiot. Uh, well, you know, I uh, was even on my way to working for the uh, the mayor's office in uh, Atlanta, but uh, somebody started spreading some rumors all about me, and uh, they weren't too, uh, too good for my uh, business. So... Here I am, you know, I'm uh, one of the uh, newer members of this group, but uh, I'll help any way I can, you know, if you let me. Very good. And uh, unfortunately, Scott's not here. But uh, well, I guess that leaves me. Yep. My name is Fiona. 
uh, I was I was raised in a cabin in the Alaskan wilderness. My God. Um, Brandon was my uh, well, he was going to be my husband. Oh but, uh, my God! But then zombies happened. We kind of had to call off the wedding because of the zombie apocalypse. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, it's a bummer. Then he be he uh he became kind of the leader of our little crew, and uh, I was his sidekick. But uh, then he died of pneumonia, and now uh now I guess uh I guess it falls to me to lead this ragtag bunch. So are you a uh, appointed leader or self-proclaimed? I decided to take the lead so I could protect everyone. What's up, Scott? You're muted if you're... Uh... I know. Okay. I actually... Uh, I was groggy all day, and I didn't think I would fall asleep for six hours. Welcome. Welcome, Welcome back to the land of the uh, conscious. Good morning, sunshine. I just didn't think a little groggy would result in six hours. I was expecting literally three. And no You're going to sleep like shit tonight. I mean, I'm on a four-day weekend. I don't care. It was one of it. Fuck sleep. I like how Bradley refused to save the land of the living. I had to choose my words carefully. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, are you in game yet, Scott? I'm logging into the grounds right now. Yeah. I'll let, when you get in and grab your character, you can uh, look it over real quick and give us a, you guys a bit of an introduction. Uh, what do you What do you look like? I mean, you can go with what the art I picked, or you can do what you want. Well, why are you here? What, some background. Uh, if you look on the the last tab, it's called a, it's the log tab. There is a secret also that may or may not play into anything also gives you uh i think all the rest you you probably read on what i posted in discord yep i read all your stuff i can't wait to finally not be the adult in the party bad news i'm the adult in the party now <laughs> i don't care he's literally playing the archetype of the kid Somebody else is going to have to take care of me this time. I'm not spending another two years wrangling idiots. Pull your pants down immediately. Or are you? <laughs> Something happens. Jack dies first session. It's like, oh, all right, we're going to listen to the 13-year-old. Well, we tried listening to the adult. <laughs> Promotion by attrition. What is the game? Uh, it's, it will be listed under Aliens. I figured it'd let you connect directly. Mm -mm. I just Only I just clicked the, the, the standard server. Yeah, the same server. wherever you normally play. join should let you in. I only have your uh, TUI server. Yeah, it shows you connected. Oh, it was just it wasn't green, so I didn't think it was going to be that one. And uh, at least my overlay covers up most of the uh, the game stuff since this is, if, when you get in here, notice this is for aliens, not Walking Dead. They don't have the uh, rule set out for that guy. Uh, to catch you up, Scott, our people are dying of pneumonia and we are looking for medicine. And I let you do a name. Valid, that's just as valid a quest as any. I've been. Uh, you wound up in this uh, little town just outside of Atlanta, and uh, Harley, who's more of your your scout kind of guy, is a uh, pointed out an ambulance on top of a parking garage. Okay. Yep, right where I said it was. And grab his character. Give us a it. little bit of background. Yeah, I am. I'm trying to. He's a child. 
the end. Here's a wee lad. Uh, Lass? Jeez. Everybody's a lad. It's it's 2023. We don't know how Kalani identifies. Uh, this uh, this actually takes. It's not 2023 because this takes place between season two and season three of The Walking Dead. So I don't know what okay. years those were. Yeah, so like olden 19, times. 1980 or something. I don't know. Sure. Look it up. I am Kalani Clark. I had a kid sister named Kaya, and we decided to forget everything about the old world. Our parents, our dog Isaac, which we still remember. I don't care what the description says. We remember Isaac the dog, and my older brother Zach is dead. We don't remember him. And it was the day we were born again. We thrive here with the dead and loathe how the old ones cry in their sleep, longing for the things that will never come back. With Jackson, Jackson's okay. He takes care of Kaya when I'm not around. And when Kaya started coughing, it was Jackson who said, it's going to be okay. And now we're out getting pneumonia because my sister's dying. No, Twitch, I will not be doing a little girl voice. <laughs> I do not have that. I have a bevy of voices, as some of the people in here will attest. That is not one of them. I believe in you. This looks like a, probably 2010. Oh my god. The, the, the olden old times. olden days. Oh my god. The before times. <laughs> Did y'all have colored TV yet? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, wasn't that the year the radio was invented? The iPhone was, was still fairly new. Doge yeah, memes up, were very popular. Dude, we probably, most people probably still had flip phones. That's not true. I had to think about it. I had an iPhone in South Korea, and it was an iPhone 5, and that was uh, 2011. When did that? Really? I see the best smartphones five. of 2010. Top smartphones. iPhone 5 we came out in 2012. We had the HTC Evo. Oh, maybe it was a 4. September 21st, 2024. Uh, HTC Droid in Incredible. The Apple iPhone 4. T-Mobile G2, Motorola Droid X. That's the one I had. Oh, yeah. I remember when Droid was a thing. Samsung Focus. Rim Blackberry Pearl. Oh, my God. I had a Blackberry. So, yeah. So, this is a, a, the world of the Droid X and the iPhone 4. All right. So, we're not total savages. Of course, yeah, your the cell iPhone signal ones. doesn't work, and none of you have a cell phone. So. The uh, the original iPhone is actually a lot older than what people seem to think for some reason. Is isn't the original iPhone like two thousand six or two thousand seven? Two thousand seven. Okay, dude, I still have mine somewhere in a box. Really? Well, that's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, they're that's actually kind of when they're about to release what the fifteen. Yep. Okay. Uh, if you look under images, there should be a, well, I can, I can do it. Hang on. Share. Shrink it. There you go. All right. Since we're in 2010, I'm going to pull up my iPhone three and start playing video games. I'm going to play Flappy Bird. Wait, <laughs> that didn't come out yet. <laughs> no, it's already been copyright struck hard. Flappy Bird release. Shit, that was 2013. No, you were right. It wasn't released yet. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'll tell you what, though. Plants vs. Zombies. No, we, gotta go get that. My we have to get medicine for my dying sister, Nick. She's dying. <laughs> She's very sick. Please, sir. Um, uh, it's it's ma'am. <laughs> Please, ma'am. Hey, I did the same thing. I can't it hasn't ha that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> you gotta wait till the 20s, 20s for that. Okay, I think I've got the map fairly centered. Okay. Yeah, parking garage. Y'all are at the bottom of the map there. 
units. Uh, basically, each square is a meter. That's the way I've got it measured out. Yeah. Okay, cool. And I say short range. This this does the short, medium, or short and long range. Shorts twenty five meters, which you can uh, close to melee in that situation if you want. You don't have a specific movement, and then long range is uh, anything over that up to a hundred. And then after a hundred is extreme, unless you have some. I don't think it. We're to the point you'll have any kind of weapons that can do extreme distance. Also, if, if I do something wrong in Walking Dead lore, let me know, because I never watched the show. Oh, man, not even, like, the first four or five seasons before it got really repetitive. No, I didn't watch any. I watched zero. I played uh, the uh, Tales game, though. The Telltale ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah Telltale I games. I played part but... of the first one. Well, I played... Uh... Chapters one to four with Everett. That was good. Those were good. those were fun. I thought the point and click genre was dead, but it turns out the point and click genre is kind of awesome. Hell yeah! Hey, what's up, Bert? Seeing how badly I can uh, pull off a, a Walking Dead from Free League with a last minute crunch trying to get it in. <laughs> All right, so how are we going to get to this ambulance? Please Very see carefully. Any zombies up there? Yeah. Do yeah. you see or Bot hear check any? zombies? <laughs> yeah, zombie check. Bot, where you're Bot currently check. at, you do not see or hear any. Oh, no zombies. Let's just sneak up and take a closer look, Jackson. Yeah, looking pretty clear, folks. Say oh, uh, where you're standing, there's a a house to your right. Uh, it looks like it was a kind of a little shopping mart, quick trip kind of thing. Immediately to your left, parking garage in front of you. Uh, it's no walls on it. It looks like it's a three story, so you can see into it. it looks like uh, it's dark though, so you can't make out a lot of detail. Uh, looks like there are several cars, like people had tried getting out in a jam. So it, several vehicles are still in there. And just because I'm sure, not sure if we can see it from where we are, if we have to walk up to see it, that corner, uh, is that what we'd be familiar with is like where the stairwell would be for the structure? The uh, the lower left? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would, so the one where there's stairway and elevator would be in that. Uh, same with the other side. Uh, you've seen these before. You're... You would guess that there's another one on the opposite side. You can't see it from here, but yes. Mm -hmm. From my experience from the before times. Uh, I yes, I too am familiar with the parking garage stairs. Mm-hmm. Good old Are times. You? Good old times. Mm -hmm. If we can get in, we could go right up to the top. What did they use this building for? Why is it so big? Oh, this is where you would take your cars and you would leave it. Wouldn't someone steal it? Wait, how old are you? I'm 13. Me? You know what a fucking parking garage is if you're 13. <laughs> no, I refuse. We were born in the sticks. Mm -hmm. You see these things all over the road? You park yeah. them there. You go do other things and then you come back and you head back to your home. And people didn't steal them. Oh, no, they did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you knew where it was supposed to be. I, like I never had oh, my no, car it. stolen. Claudia just looks at you like confused. So people put them here to be stolen. I mean, it wasn't super common. I guess it really just depends where you are. Okay. Don't, don't, don't listen to Harley. Uh, to don't take him too seriously on that. In fact, in my experience, it wasn't as many car thefts as it was drug deals happening in places like this. Why do they have to go somewhere shady for drug deals? We just do that in the open now. So you don't know what a parking garage is, but you know ah! how people conduct drug deals? 
Now, Kalani, <laughs> these were the before times. People were different back then. Hey, thank you for the follow. You gotta yeah, respect our culture. I didn't realize it was prehistoric. I didn't think I'd be running around with an uppity toddler. <laughs> My sister's not even here right now. Can I walk forward to like the back of that car? Like right ish. Here. Quietly as possible. Yeah, y'all can uh if everybody's moving up, go ahead and give me uh, uh Scott. Uh, you weren't here when I said under the notes section. There's only one document in there. The Walking Dead changes. Since I'm using the aliens rule set, there's some differences. And I've put down the, the first one listed, like Comtech, was the aliens is just tech in Walking Dead. So I'll put what the uh, equivalent is. Piloting is stealth, yeah. Yeah. So we're rolling piloting. Shit, where is that? I feel like this is a lot of dice. Oh, there it is. Okay. Are we all rolling? Sorry. Yeah, everybody is. You're moving up there. What the fuck? What is that? Okay, so if you got at least one, you're successful. Um, <laughs> I got a zero. So, yeah, with a zero, you are not successful. So as you're walking along... I tried uh, no. Damn it, Grace. I, I trip and I shoot my gun. <laughs> okay, here, wait, how? The way you describe <laughs> all the stuff in this six? book is it's kind of narrative, so y'all sneak up here. Tell Nick, you do not sneak. What do you do as you're sneaking up there? What do you do to make noise? Uh, You know what? <sighs> he trips over Fiona. I, uh... I, I have a pair of handcuffs and uh, I'm going to say that I have them sticking out of my back pocket and uh, maybe I, I didn't tuck them in as, as well as I thought I did. They're hanging a little loose. So uh, we crouch, we crouch behind this car and uh, my hand, my handcuffs fall and uh, clatter on the pavement. And uh Fiona, what what are you doing that, to make noise? Uh, I trip into the car. Luckily, the car is not alarmed, but I do like make you know a thunk noise as I hit the car. I brace myself with my arms, but it still makes that nice meaty clunk noise when you run into a car. Uh, as you do it, you like catch yourself. Then all of a sudden, uh, a little bit of a shock as you see like a hand slams against the glass and you see a zombie in the back seat just biting at the window teeth you can oh, hear it. scraping on the glass but uh it, it doesn't break it or anything but it, it's inside the car there it did at least roll down the window <laughs> no it'll, it'll, it'll probably be glass. louder can you can you spare some change sir Oh God, no! <laughs> but uh, I, think it's, I think it's got worse problems to deal with than suffocating in the car. <laughs> oh, it's probably hot in there, though. Yeah, it is. the uh, The Atlanta sun's beating down on y'all. It's it's already warm this morning. The humidity's the worst part. Can you imagine yeah. how bad that car has to smell. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I th I think if it's not um, if it's just like gnashing its teeth and scratching at the glass, we can probably move on. Uh, yeah, I, I don't it's know, not posing it... a threat to you other than yeah. you've alerted it to your presence. Uh, they do have uh, hey, before. Hey, we've already what, done that. What before. seat is it in? Is it in the it's driver's in the back seat? seat. That's in the back oh, seat. The back seat. Uh, oh, there is okay. one thing in, in this system I forgot to point out before I, I described all that. You can push what's known as pushing. So if you fail your roll, you can push it, which means you reroll. You can even reroll a success. Say you got one success, but you needed two. You could push that roll even. You keep your one success, reroll the remaining dice. Uh, on your character sheet, I think. Uh, 
Uh, no, there's not a push button on it. A push roll in here. So you would just anyway, you would re-roll the the failed dice, and but you give yourself a point of stress when you do that. You also get to roll that stress dice at the same time. The stress die ups the chance, of course, that you're going to have success. But if you roll a one on the stress die, then something bad happens. So like that, if it was a crucial situation and you needed to get that uh, stealth roll, you could push that. You only get to push once. Got it. Other than the sickening sound of that walker kind of slapping on the glass and you can hear the teeth scraping on it, this biting at the glass. You look around, everything seems fine. You're starting a, a faintly uh, you're starting to hear it sounds like 80s hair music. Oh, no. It's very faint. But it sounds like it's coming, like, somewhere uh, upper stories of the parking garage. Like a car stereo, maybe? Something like that, except if it, if it was a car stereo, it's going to have all the doors open because it sounds like it's more, uh, it's not muffled, but it's very, very faint. You can hear like rats round and round playing currently. Hmm. And it just started or we just heard it? No, it's as you get up here, you can, at this point, you're starting to hear it. Okay, got it. Who would be, who would be playing music <laughs> just out like this? Someone got some Britney Spears playing up there. Mm-hmm. I knew I left my iPod somewhere. Where did you get Britney Spears from rap? <laughs> you said I, like hair hair pop. No, 80s. I said 80s, 80s hair, hair, hair metal. You did I, not say metal. No, that is nope. That he, he definitely said hair. I was pushing no. like hair salon music. No, no, no. No, that's, that's not rap, no. round and round. I mean, no. Okay, Honey, no. Um, Jackson is like canonically extremely bad with music artists. Canonically, canonically. So I just didn't like this one. It hurts my soul to to hear this. <laughs> I'm trying to be hip, okay? You old fogies and your dead celebrities. Well, that's gonna make me extremely uncomfortable that there's music playing in a yeah, time like now. Yeah, this. It's either it's either one of two things. Um, either somebody somebody tried to set up a distraction, or somebody's trying to set up a trap. Hey, Grace, why don't you go over behind that big white van and see if you see anything? I'll uh, I'll nod at you, and uh, I have. Uh, I'll, you know, pick up my handcuffs. And I'll tuck them deeper into my pocket this time. Make I never sure even don't... bothered to ask why you have handcuffs, but we'll oh, get I'm to a... that later. Yeah, I, I don't know. I probably, you probably would already know this. Uh, I used to, uh, I was a police officer. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, I know my way around a, a pair of handcuffs at a service weapon. I'll say. And uh, I will, uh, I will head up to uh, this this van, uh, I guess. And you're going up by yourself. Uh, yeah. Okay. And actually, that that's probably the dumb place to stand. I'm actually probably going to stand more like right here, so that you're I kind of like the goat in Jurassic Park right now. Yeah. Okay, you get up it's here, and the vehicle looks like it's in good condition. It doesn't look looted or anything like that. Uh, I'd like to good neighborhood. Yeah, I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to peer around it and see if I can. Uh, if I can see any anything going on on the bottom levels of this uh, uh, of this parking garage. I, I don't know if this is one of those parking garages that has like really wide open like you can see in into the sides or not. yeah there's no walls you can see into it. you i mean walls like it is a barrier this like maybe waist high but there's right. no walls from between <clears throat> the areas uh you give me a uh what 
Is there stuff in here? It's an observation. Yeah, give me a scout roll. Scout. Well, it's observation on your sheet, yes. Okay. Damn. Yeah, you, you see lots of cars. Uh, the music's a little bit louder and definitely sounds like it's coming from uh, the upper level somewhere. But uh, you don't notice anything else. The uh, As you're leaning, kind of peering over there, the, the hood of this uh, vehicle is warm. Of course, you've got the Alabama or Atlanta sun beating down on it. Do you hear the uh, like the tink 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 like metal cooling off? Like, like it just got turned off. Mm. Yeah, it seems like this is, is fairly recent. Uh, I'm going to make some hand gestures back to uh, Harley and the re and everyone else. Um, basically, I'm going to pant. I'm going to pantomime, uh, I'm going to point at the van, and I'm going to pantomime driving it. I'm going to shake my head now at you. And then, and then I'm going to, and then I'm going to, you know, pantomime uh, turning a key and taking it out of the ignition, and then I'm going to tap my wrist uh, to kind of try and indicate that it was recent. Christ, what the fuck are you going on about? I'm going to go see what she's trying to say. Um, kind of getting the general sense of maybe someone had this car. Is the exhaust hot? Uh, I want to go do two things. Put your finger I'll, in a jar. I want to come over. Can I listen? Is this like a double opening back door? Or is this like a lift? For the double door? door. It's, it doesn't I'm have gonna a lift listen on it. Very closely to... And see if I can hear anything in the back of this uh, vehicle. Give me a, a scout. Or, sorry, for uh, observation on this one. Uh, do, 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 do observation. One. Yeah, it's it's very silent. There's no movement. You don't, you don't feel any vibrations. You don't hear anything. And hearing them, I check the exhaust to see if it's warm. Or, well, I, I very carefully check it, not to yeah, like put my hand on like, oh. It's not hot, it, it's warm, but where you're checking, there's no sun shining on it, so it shouldn't be more than the uh, ambient temperature, but it, it's it's warm. I nod back to the rest of the group to confirm. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna check. Is the uh, is the front door unlocked? Yes. You look in. Gonna... Uh, you don't find any keys, but. Uh, it's either broken or it's showing to have about three quarters of a tank. Okay. Grace, can you pop the rear door? Is it like a manual rear lock or is it like something she can release from the front? Uh, no, you could open it. It's got a uh, one of those where you have to swing the little catch, then you lift up and pull out. Okay. I'm gonna enter like just a, a cargo van. I'm gonna wave over Alpaca Boy to back me up. While they're doing um, that, I'd I'd like to just uh, check the glove compartment and see if there's any any clues as to who uh, this belongs to. Jackson's uh, gonna stand there for a second, look a little nervous. Like he's gonna look behind us, maybe point back towards the way we came. Like, should we leave? Jackson, get your butt over here now. Haven't even, haven't even gotten to what we came here for. Uh, you find yeah, a... Think about all the alpacas. Also, alpa like, dying. There's no alpacas here. Okay. They're upstairs. Oh my god, really? They're, they're the ones other... listening to the rat. <laughs> Help me hold the other side of this door in case something's in here. I will come over. Can you barter? And I'm just going to kind of slowly undo the back of it. And start opening the door ever so slightly to see. Uh, I get my trusty there. emergency hammer ready. I have my knife just sitting there too, like waiting for a finger or something. <laughs> yeah, Fiona pulls out a knife just, you know, just in case. Okay, uh, as you're looking through the 
inside there, Nick, you find uh, a bayonet. Oh. And it has the letters MD carved into the handle. Hmm, a doctor's car. Capital M, capital D. <laughs> no periods. Other than that, you find some uh, insurance paperwork that's from like 2006. Oh man, this so many tickets. Yeah, they probably haven't uh, paid that insurance in a while. It's probably no good. Man, I I'm sure. Like the uh, the cop in me is like, man, this this would have been so many tickets. You can tell a lot about these people right now. Yeah, I, I can immediately tell. All right, does anything in the back try to kill me and Jackson? Uh, no. You get it open. There's some blankets. Uh, look like there's several rations, uh, water bottles. Looks like uh, not enough to like take back to fit everybody, but for the gear crew, you'd probably have about three days worth of stuff in here. You don't like uh, it, Jackson. Well, don't several, just stand there. Gather it up. Uh, several uh, empty boxes and other containers look like what you would guess if somebody coming out to go scavenging mm. and then stuff to store things in. Okay. Are any of the blankets particularly soft? No. They're, they're make do. Several of them are stained. They're ripped. But it'll keep the cold off. It'll do. Definitely not alpaca wool. <laughs> not up to my standard. Polyester you know and, and cotton blend. I do like that one of the characters for this one shot is like, yeah, this is just a, a zoo guy. Um, You said it doesn't look like this vehicle could operate, correct? No, it looks very operational, but you don't have any um, keys in it. Can I rip off like a smaller piece of one of those blankets and I'm going to stuff the exhaust? Sure. Ooh. All right, so I take about half a blanket and just boop, use mean. like the my knife to keep just shoving it up there till it's nice and tight. Not a problem. Why are we? Well, there goes our escape. What ride. are you? What are you doing? It's E to B down here. Is the Kalani and Luca doing back back there? Uh, I'm actually kind of wondering, like, how uh this is more of a setting building thing. How long has it been since uh? The zombie zombies came out. Has it been over a year? Uh, yeah, this is between season two and three. So let me see. Okay. So it's been okay. It's been like over a year. So my question becomes: uh, Are we in a universe where cars that have had gasoline in them will still run after like eight months? Because gas does not last that long. I'm. Hmm. So wow, well, this. This is earlier than I thought. So yeah, it shows that the uh, CDC on April 15th, 2010, the disease quickly spread worldwide and was declared a pandemic on the August 25th of 2010 in this universe. So I'm going to say it's been like eight months. Well, that car might be okay. That's hard to say. All right. I just wanted to make sure. Mm -hmm. uh, right now I'm just watching. And I'll look over. We need it. We could always come pull it out. But if someone else gets back here, they're not going to go far. I'm a little worried about the noise a car is going to make, but. Well, if someone else tries to leave, then we'll hear it too, and we can get the hell out of here. You know, how, comes, how come Fiona's the leader? Why, why isn't Harley the leader? Harley's got a good head on her shoulders. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. At this I, point, I mean, why are we? Is... Go ahead. Sorry. I mean, why are we assuming that these other people are going to be hostile to us? Why are we? Uh, <laughs> why are we stealing their stuff? Well, Fiona, most people are pretty mean to us when we come out here. It's, it's very dog eat dog. You, you come out here a lot. Say so it's about this time. Anybody paying attention? Here's the music change to. Uh, Poison's cover of uh, Rock and Roll All Night. 
Okay. So did this sound like a natural transition of like a track or was it like mid song and someone changed it? No, it's like one song uh, round and round finished. Then you had like a couple second pause and then uh, rock and roll all night kicked in, but it's the, the poison okay. cover. Okay. So not an unnatural transition. No. Okay. Should we uh, start heading over to those stairs? I wish I could have done the uh, the soundtrack for this, but it's like, yeah, there's a copyright strikes thing. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's head on over. Yeah, you Middle. said um, you said it was waist high. We we could just jump. Uh, we don't have to like walk all the way around to the entrance. We could just jump in onto the ground. Well, you level. could. There's several cars in there. Uh, it's also dark, so you can't see super okay. well. Even though well, it's daylight the here, the 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 shadows cast a very hard contrast. Mm, okay. <clears throat> well, the stairs aren't really that far. I'll wave back at the other two. And I'm going to look over at Fiona. Yes. Ladies first. I'll be right behind you. Smiles real big. And I'll stay right on behind him. Yeah, I'll, uh, does, uh, does Fiona take the lead on this? Yes. Okay. Then I will also be behind Fiona. I sure hope Luca and Kalani come along and don't just stand behind that car with the zombie in it. <laughs> I'm gonna Yeah, uh, with y'all there, it's continuing just to slap at the glass and bite at it. Damn it, you do stop playing with the zombie. But it's so funny, look at him. I tap the Come window. on now, sugar plum. Get over here. Is that me? <laughs> That's you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Get over here. Little lady. Fine. Apple cider vinegar. Princess. <laughs> Cider vinegar princess. That's like an Adventure Time character. <laughs> Fine, I'll walk over. Uh, oh, we are on the map. We're just really tiny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're on the southern end. You just gotta zoom in. Who's playing Luca? Me. Okay. So I literally. Very- Disgruntled businessman. Former politician. I'd be disgruntled just by being a politician. Where the fuck am I? About a car on the in the very south in the middle. Does it look like this car burnt up or is that just in the picture? Yeah, it looks like this car had caught fire at some point. Uh hmm. this makes old. me feel like it's, it's, it's a zombie. Soot. Makes me feel zombie safe. Uh, as Fiona approaches, is this one of those stairwells where, like, it's closed off with the doors, or is the stairwell more open? Uh, there's a door. It's closed. I'm just going to stay here and kind of... Next question, is it locked? Well, look uh, around. Who is checking it? Checking if the burned car is locked? No, the door to the stairs. Because <laughs> I'm still, who are you, Fiona? Yeah, I'll check, check. it. Is oh. that who you're playing as, Fiona? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, you and Luca, you're both standing right there. I'll say that's where the door is. Give me... Uh, an observation roll. Both of us? Yeah. Uh-oh. Fuck me, dude. Okay, so, uh... Fiona, you're checking it out. Luca, you notice that there's, uh... Like, marks in the dust. It looks like it's recently been opened. I'm gonna... Point him out to Fiona and be like, somebody's definitely here. 
definitely are they there are they like pyre or you know footprints uh you don't see footprints but you see where the doors scrape the dust away okay well it's like we'll be following somebody in here all right everyone be on your uh be on your guard okay emergency uh, hammer comes out oh thank god I thought Fiona, when you that. open the door roll me uh, another observation Hey, we did it. Okay. So uh, you open that up, and it looks, you at this point, you do see footprints. It's thicker dust inside. You see the footprint looked like maybe two, three steps, and then it looks like they came back out. With uh, two yeah, successes, I'm going to say that you also noticed about five foot past that third step in the dust. You just catch uh, from some of the morning light that's bouncing off a window behind this building. It almost looked like a, a thin thread or something. Something like fishing oh. wire or a metallic wire stretched across the hallway. <laughs> it is a trap. Um, did they mention that they see the footprints? Yeah, she mentions the footprints, and she also mentions mentioned that there appears to be some sort of trap on the on the stairs. You could just say it in character. Do the footprints have shoes, or no? Yeah, they're they're uh, a sold footprint. Okay. Yes, and maybe maybe a size nine tennis <laughs> shoe. Uh, I am not good with. Those type of things. Yeah, I'm also not good at disarming traps. Do we have anyone who's good at disarming traps? You want me to punch someone, maybe. Uh, can we at least look and see and follow, uh, kind of see like where the line runs to? Like, is it running to something? Yeah, you're, if you're checking it, give me a uh, an observation roll. I'm going to get it with my peeps. Uh, observation. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you kind of, you don't touch it. You're just kind of looking around, not trying to move much. Mm -hmm. You see uh, the end of the wire is attached to a grenade. Oh! <laughs> And I'm the, assuming the pin is missing. Nowhere inside. Yeah, it's got a, like a metal rod kind of pushed against it, holding it up against the wall. So a uh, little bit of the concrete looks like maybe a chisel has dug it out to kind of hold it. So as soon as you trip that, it's dropping the grenade. Boom. Uh, maybe we so, should find another door. I was going to say, unless somebody really, really wants to hold a live grenade. <laughs> Well, either way, we try to remove it. And if we fail, it makes noise. And if we do remove it and anyone comes back, they know we're here. Uh, if you fail, it's going to do more than make noise. No, I know. That was like best case scenario. What do you say, boss? And I'll look over to Fiona. Another door or disarm it? I mean, we could always just go in through the main area. Uh, sorry, while y'all are discussing this, the dog's got to go out. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we I... can we can check uh we can check the other door, but I feel like uh, if someone was paranoid to to trap one staircase, they're gonna trap the other staircase too. I do like Thanks. the idea. I do like the idea of trying to go up through the. Through the, you know, the main area. The main garag. I think, uh... I think that would be <laughs> a, little, a little less dangerous, a little harder to be booby-trapped than these stairwells. I have a really funny idea. 
in before the door to the the main the main parking area is also trapped and we all die. Can yeah. we just like crawl under it? If we find people in here, is anyone opposed to have tying... you seen the dumper I'm working with, Kate? Come on now. I'm yeah, so right. Sorry. We do have a small child. The small we take child. The child gonna... <laughs> we strap the grenade to the small zombie child. We send it in with a <laughs> string on the release, no, and then we pull it loose. I don't think he meant no. zombie. Zombie child. Yeah, I the think one he in meant the me. The car. No, the one in the back seat of the car. Is that, a, that kid? a little kid? I thought he said it was a kid. Maybe it's not. I think it's just a uh, person. I don't think it's a Either kid. Either or. I want it to be known that Cal's don't want to strap a grenade to a child and send them in. <laughs> a child zombie. There's a different 30 dead. Uh, exactly. a zombie. Can you believe that? But you can send it in through the front door, potentially. How do we know it would be a distraction? Stop moving? Yeah, it would, it would just... We're the, we're the closest... Uh, Noise. People. Yeah, I mean, I guess, but I mean, I mean, I, I could. Tr I have a book uh, about beekeeping. I could throw the book at the lion a, from well, a safe got, distance. Got a book about beekeeping? You sure that would be? That is, li <laughs> it's literally one of the items in my backpack is a book on beekeeping. That's. I mean, hilarious. that would legit be handy as hell in the apocalypse. We gotta talk more. I don't have anything that would be super helpful. I have a flashlight, so if if we did go, too. yeah, if we did go anywhere that was kind of dark, I got a Bible, two cans of tuna, a crowbar, and a flashlight, and one uh, knife. Yeah, I have a knife as well. We could, we could cut the wire. I have a pack of cigarettes. It's why? still my disturbing. Why would we? Why do you have a pack of cigarettes? Who gave you those? <laughs> what is the worst idea? idea. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I I light up a cigarette. I'm gonna be a bad kid. <laughs> uh, I stare at you in disapproval, but I'm not your dad. I'm not her dad. Guy. Also not, also not a dad. Also not her dying sister. Which we still need mm. to save. I actually uh, think we should leave. I like the idea of throwing the Bible at the tripwire. Maybe there's a new ladder that goes up. Go, go under it or over it? We can go through the main area, or we have to look for a ladder. Yeah, I mean, if they... I don't know how many entrances there are here, but if they trap this one, then yeah. they're probably trapped a few. Does anybody know how to disarm a... I have a screwdriver. What is a disarm roll? I'm gonna assume uh, maybe manipulation? I thought it was Possibly probably survival? Heck. Palm tech, tech. Oh yeah, tech is probably. That'd be my guess. I've got a plus uh, one to tech. Which I, I have zero. Yeah, same. Is my character page not long enough to show me the tech thing? I am. Uh, I agree with Fiona that I, I feel this is an unnecessary risk. Uh, if anyone was really confident and knew how to knew how to do this. But uh, nobody seems to be super confident about it. So I think... we already need medical supplies. We don't need more medical supplies. Yeah. Is there any ladders, Oak? Hold, like uh, fire escape ladders? Seeing their tech skill. No. Uh, uh, well, main tab under skills. Mine's not long enough. Oh, it's com tech. Com tech. Yeah. Yeah. He has Isn't a com -tech table. Phones and stuff. He has a translation because it's built for alien. So if you go to the. Oh, note okay. Section, there's like a translation table he made for what okay. equals what. Okay, cool. What yeah, to, if we wanted disarmament, would it be tech or would it be survival? We're just curious. Mm, I would say probably survival because tech would be more like computers and things like that. Uh I I don't I'm kind of with them. It seems like an unnecessary risk. There's no real benefits other than we we get in the building. We could try to use it on the way and out. But we're not so even this isn't the. I mean, there are no walls. You can't. You'd have to crawl over some vehicles and stuff. You can still get in there. It's just dark. It's not that you can't. There's also but, uh, where y'all are standing, looking around the corner. It looks like the main entrance, like where you drive in. Yeah. Is it the? Front um. Door? If we look in, just because we're kind of around that spot on the inside of the park, so if like we climb over the wall. Does the inside access to the stairwell also have a door, or is it open on the inside? 
Uh, it's open. But you okay, so turn we... around to this. Where you're at on the inside, you see that too. You could go into the parking garage from where you're at. It's oh, super gotcha. dark. But both points of entry lead to the stairs that are trapped. Okay. Should we just climb over the wall then? I feel like climbing over the wall is probably our best bet at this at this point in time. All right, I'll start helping boost people. I'm no, assuming we're say, where you're probably at, climb over it. Where, oh, it's Arnold, already where you're standing, the basically like the door, the inside door. Yep. Is like just open. Yeah, it's like right there. Door. So it's the through. trip wire just in front of the door. So if someone it's walks in through, the, is it like going up the stairs? It's going to a little, a little hallway right before where the stairs go up. Gotcha. So if we wanted to take the stairs up, it'd be an issue. Correct. So okay. let's say that's about where the stairway is. I'm just going to point my finger up. They're definitely upstairs. Were there any fire escapes on the outside of the building? No. Okay. Or at least not that you've seen on this side. Fair enough. All right, come on. Be quiet. All right, well, everyone keep your eyes out for more tripwires. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to keep my legs where they are. You don't need those. Uh, right. I'm pretty the, sure uh, you'd need those. The elevator, of course, in here has elevators too, but they uh, do not work. Yeah, I wasn't about to press the button. I was going to say, I'm not, I'm not taking an elevator in a zombie apocalypse. That seems like a very bad you idea. See one of the doors are kind of partially open. It's dark inside. Uh, there's just no power to it. And I'm going to go take a shit in a public restroom while I'm at it, too. Nope. You're not catching me with my pants down. All right. <laughs> can, can we go check the uh, the inside door just to, like, look inside and see if there's anything uh, visible? I'm sorry. You're going to do what? So can we can I go, like, right here? Because this is the door that goes into the parking lot. Yeah, correct. That goes into the, the garage area. The, so the red, the little black circle is what goes in. Take a little peek and uh, see if I see anything. Uh, give me a scout roll. Scout, scout, scout. That was... Was that observation? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, observation. I'm looking at the Walking Dead and not the... Uh... Nope. You do not see or hear anything. Uh, there, there's the faint echo of uh, the music playing. It's yeah. very, very I'm, muffled from where you are. I'm gonna look at Fiona and tell her it's all clear. I'm gonna motion for the others to come in. I would like. <laughs> well, shit. Uh, that's that's metagamey though. Yeah. I mean, if you say it's all clear. <laughs> I mean, I think it's clear. Should should I should I take a look for myself, or is that a little bit metagamey? No, feel free. I mean, even though, think of the world you're in. You're probably going to be checking no matter what. You'd probably be in your own house, secure, and like before you go into another room, you're probably looking. All right, I'll give it another once over. Uh, you see a little bit of movement between some cars. Looks like there's a, a walker at least, at least one. Did you see that? <laughs> There's well, some movement in there. <laughs> I'm kind of like rub my eyes a little bit. Are you sure? I don't think there's anything over there. No, I definitely saw something move in between the cars. <laughs> hmm. That's blocked off. What do you want to do? Your sister. Gotta go in. You gotta go in. I mean, it's either it's either this or the booby trap. So, <laughs> do we know if any of us have a gun? Do we have like a gun? Or I have, have a gun. All knives. I think everyone uh, has a gun, but you. And I think there's I don't two have of a gun. you that don't oh, have. Uh, yeah. Yep. Four guns and a lot of knives. I have I a hammer. I don't have any ammunition in my inventory. Should I just assume I have ammunition? Yes, you, it's assumed. Yeah, the the system doesn't use a specific like count your ammo. It can be one of those deals if you make a uh, <laughs> hey down to die. Welcome. Uh, basically, if you screw up, 
during a combat and you roll like a one on a stress die, that could be a possibility. It's like shit, you run out of ammo. It could be you get attacked from behind by another walker as a one shot attack. Uh, okay. You may up the threat rating where instead of just being, you know, 10 zombies, you've attracted the attention of some more. Several different things could happen on that. But yeah, ammunition is kind of an arbitrary thing. I'm going to motion to one of the people that own a gun. I have it right there. I have a gun. Well, do we do we want to shoot it? Well, no, but at least have someone with a gun who can take it down if it rushes us. I mean, why don't we just, you know, separate its fucking brain stem from the rest of its body? We could do that. I just and he holds up like his just normal knife. Yeah, I'll uh, unstrap my rifle from my back, hold it in my hands. Just push it over. Zombies can't get back up. They, no, they can get back, get back up. They're more stubborn than you think they are. Just use, just use the little brother strategy where you put your the palm of yeah. your hand on the top of their head. Uh, as I <laughs> eyeball just around the general area, is there any like improv weapon type material like tools, Sure, uh, there's all kinds track. of different things. What do you want? What do you want to grab? Just something with a little bit more distance than a knife. If a it's a melee weapon, it's a melee weapon. Yeah. That there's no specific but like, a I know, but like or something like that's better than a knife. It's all melee. Oh, I know. But me personally, I know in my head that a knife is only this distance. So even if it does nothing different, I just want to feel like it does. Yeah, just just for flavor, right? Yeah, you yeah. Find there's a there's a piece of uh, of rebar where some of the uh, concrete's been like a car ran into uh, the wall. Is broken mm -hmm. piece off, and there's some rebar with like a a chunk of concrete still on it. Oh hell yeah! I'm gonna pick that bad boy up. Hey, XL, you know, make sure it's the, the concrete uh, hole. It's actually the Walking Dead Free League did it. It's closer to aliens in rule set. That's why I'm using the aliens uh, for fantasy grounds for this. It uses the stress mechanic, but it's its own system. All right, I'll have my two handed. Rebar concrete hammer ready to go. Okay. And uh, I'm going to walk in. Well, uh, Fiona has a gun? Go ahead. While you're picking that up, give go me a, a survivor, uh, a piloting roll. It's stealth. Again, for those watching, I'm having to shoehorn uh, The Walking Dead into the Aliens RPG because it's the closest I've got. Oh yeah, not a problem. You you pick it. You don't scrape anything. You pick it up very quietly. I try to like put most of my strength towards the piece with the concrete on it to make no sound. I'll lift it up. Um, does Fiona have a gun? I do, in fact, possess a gun. I'm gonna look back at Fiona. I'm gonna tell her to rot, watch my rear, and I'm gonna look do. down to make sure there's not a tripwire as I walk out this door. I <laughs> say so this. You went out there to get the yeah, get okay. that piece, so you're out there. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of sit there we'll say, and slowly uh, work my way in. Let me do this just so we get something to kind of work with. Uh, Fiona will look back to the others and be like, uh, make sure make sure Kalani's in the, in the middle. Oh, shit. I'll put something out there just for a visual. There's, there's cars. One, the map showing you the top floor. There's three floors to this. So I don't have a map to do the bottom and the top, but basically uh, everything goes up through the middle and around each other, but you've got cars. Some of you see where they've run into each other. Uh, some are just still in their parking spots, but this one's kind of between two cars, just kind of uh, just walking back and forth. Jackson, if I die, will you bury me on your alpaca farm? Yes, XL. Uh, Kelsto is a special guest tonight because Brandon's gone. Brother, I'd be honored. Brandon tonight, is in Japan playing the role tonight. of Brandon Kelsto. <laughs> <laughs> no, Brand. Remember, Brandon died of pneumonia. That is he true. Sad. Yeah, you weren't there. The, the your former uh, leader of your Haven was uh, Brandon, not our Brandon, but a guy named Brandon. All right, I'm just gonna. Kind of duck behind the car and wait for Fiona's lead and see what everyone else does. Well, 
what, uh, Except this, what are, this, yeah, this walker is just walking around between yeah, two it cars. It doesn't appear mm-hmm. to notice you at the moment. You all have been quiet enough. Uh, what are the three outside doing? Y'all can, uh, the, uh, from uh, actually uh, like Luca, where you're standing, you can see into there. You see uh, Harley on the other side of that wall. I'm going to point towards where the zombie is, and I'm going to do like a zombie impression. Like, <laughs> Um, I could like hide under something and make the zombie. If somebody else can make the zombie walk towards them, and I could like grab its foot, we can trip it and not even give it a chance to attack. Say the way the things play out and a lot of stuff in here versus other targets is all opposed roles. So it's not like, hey, we do initiative, there's no initiative, it's you declare what your action is at a I'll scroll up in a little bit and read the actions you can do npcs pick first pcs go second then i npcs basically act first but they're opposed roles so if uh, say the zombie attacked you you would both roll if you got more successes than it did you win that combat oh nice uh to declare if it does come any closer i'd like to separate its head from its neck i second the declaration I, I stick by the idea, though. I could literally oh, crawl no, that's under fine. a car. Somebody could make some noise, distract it, and I could just like grab its foot and we could trip it and just beat it up. The only problem with making noise is we don't know how many more of these things are in here. Mm-hmm. It says we have to make any noise. All I'd have to do is reach out and grab its foot. We have to make like a shot. You literally just said make a noise to attract it. The one. I'm not sitting there. I'm not pulling out a stereo. We can throw a rock. So are y'all are actually arguing about it at this point? No. Nope. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's Hello. like you're talking. I just character. feel like I was you're misunderstood making... when I said a noise. I don't. Hmm. I think we try to. I think we try to sneak past it. As long as we have someone uh, watching, watching behind us. If it does come towards us, we will. We will get rid of it. But there's no right. no sense picking picking a fight if we don't have to. Uh, Jackson, you have a rifle. Yes, sir. Um, I'm gonna. I'll point at you. Why don't you post up right here? You work your way along that wall. If it comes out, I'll come around the corner and smack it. I'm not gonna say anything, but I will nod my head. Yeah, because I'm trying to get her to go. She has a pistol. Also, uh, if we have to come back this way in a hurry, it'd probably be fine to not have a zombie here to block us. That's true. Or the one that could wander just randomly out and set off the grenade and bring everything down on us. Yeah, that too. Did you say there were Harleys up over here or something? There was what? Harleys? Did I hear that right? Oh, no, I'm Harley. I thought you were talking about I can see it around the corner. I'm not moving there. Oh, just, up there. Oh, it's uh, sure. There, you can see there. There's a couple of motorcycles. They're on their side. If you want an actual Harley, sure. Oh no, I thought I just thought you said they were specifically over there or something. Mm-hmm. And I guess we should. Yeah, uh... uh, going up is the way. That's towards the exit. The Fiona's going. She'd have to go right to get up. Correct. It goes right up, left, down, right up, left, down. I'm assuming. Because, like, uh, yeah, where you've got it goes along the uh, outer edge. It's kind of like where you all at, where it goes up. Then you've got to go around to the second floor, which then comes up into the middle. Yep. I was just following the arrows. Don't look at me. (laughs) Fiona, that wall, that wall. No, it's not Tuesday. Kelso's joining us tonight. Well, I think we can follow them in. It's safe enough. Yeah. So I'll just make sure Jackson's staying posted up with his rifle as they move their way along the wall. Oh, so since it's not Tuesday, you're not going to hang out? Wow. (laughs) Have a good night, man. (laughs) 
Uh, I'm just giving you shit, man. Die. Appreciate just you all that. Hey, we always. Uh, while y'all are moving around, positioning everybody, uh, who's in there, give me a. Uh, what was the? Give me a piloting role. Y'all, oh, y'all are moving around okay. and checking things out and trying to position. Piloting here. I got three fives, but not a single success. Oh shit! Okay, six so... is the one that's considered a success. That's oh my god! I like smack the rear end of the car. So, next well, to now me. do do either of you who failed that roll? Do you want to push it? No, nope. I don't know. No, I uh, I'm like trying to back up, but I hit Harley with the end of my gun, and uh, oh, shit, I, I bump into the car behind me with my rebar makeshift weapon. Well, yeah, it looks like we're. <laughs> You hear that as the uh, concrete end of that rebar just scratches along the paint. And I just kind of like grip my teeth like, damn it. Yeah, and you like, then at this point you're like, the, the walker has been attracted. It, it turns towards the noise and sees the movement. So. Yes. Um, it's, so it already is looking in our direction, right? I rushed the walker. Correct. Well, hang on. The way uh, combat, let me get into this. Give Glenn. <laughs> scroll up there's two different it's kind of odd because there's duels and then there's brawling oh, nice. which is odd why well, are there always at least one violent child in all these games uh, fighting the you, you need a violent child to survive in these trying times a sassy lost child <laughs> was that a one punch reference Maybe. no it was the other sassy lost child reference okay <laughs> You know, that other famous one that isn't from One Punch Man. You know the one. You know. <laughs> okay. During a brawl, there's six phases. There's taking cover. Then there's range combat. There's close combat. Movement. First aid or other. Like, hey, I'm going to try to drag stuff and block this doorway or something like that. So what, are, what actions are y'all wanting to take? Say the me, zombie the zombie is just is uh one, two, three that it can see four. It's going for it's going for you, Harley. Yeah, which makes sense. You're the one that that scraped it and it just saw the movement to Good. look right at you. He saves me the trouble of walking to him. I just look over at Jackson and just give him that. Damn it, Jackson. Nah. Okay, Fiona, <laughs> uh, are you, what are you going to do? I'm going to rush the zombie. Okay, now, movement is basically to, say, we're all used to D&D, &D, where you give me the movement, give me the attack. This is, you declare what you're doing. Movement would be like you're wanting to move from short oh, so to I can't, long I can't range or from long and short. Attack. As long as you're within 25 meters... You can run up and attack. So if you wanted to do close combat, that's what you're going to do. You're going to close and attack. Now you and you want to melee with it. Part of me, part of me wants to melee to keep it quiet, but part of me also wants to just shoot it because it's safer. You tell me which. You, you can't complain that we weren't going to kill it because it was to make a noise because it was too loud, and then pull out a gun and kill this zombie. That's fair. Yeah, we're, that's we're a good point. To to not alert the guy who was here? Um, I can't melee the one who was like, no, we can't drop a stone to distract it, but let me pull out my gun the instant it is. As <laughs> I see that she's basically rushing, can I rush out as well? Except yep. can I do something Y'all like, are well within 25 meters. I think can I go like, away. work my way almost around the side of it, to try to draw its attention kind of closer to me to get it to not look at them? And yeah, say so there's there's cars. All you can weave in between cars, but basically anywhere within 25 meters, you can make that movement. Stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to get like basically here. That's fine. I'm just trying to draw the attention away from them, and then I'm gonna just try to run up and smack it with this big slab of concrete on free bark. Okay, uh, Jackson, what are you doing? Um. I'm going to post up right in this corner here in case things go south and things need to be shot, but I'm going to hold for now. Don't you shoot me, Jackson. I won't shoot you. Okay. Not uh, again. Kalani? <laughs> Not again. Can't, can't waste the bullet. 
What's Kalani doing? It's focus should be probably more towards me too, if you want. Scott. Oh, I'm Kalani. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi. I know. It's like who's who. I'm just gonna be right here. Okay, so you're just moving. Uh, what about Luca and Grace? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my knife. Uh, did we close this door now? No, that door's just sitting open. I mean, you could close okay. it if you wanted. You could be like, ah, you suckers, close the door. <laughs> I just remember being concerned about the zombie accidentally tripping the um tripping the grenade. Um, I'll make sure that I close this door behind us. The the one that we came in. And then, uh, I guess I'm just going to be ready to uh, stab this zombie. I'm going to have my knife ready uh, if he decides to change course and come for us. Okay. Now, again, getting out of the D&D &D frame, you're just going to, there's no held actions, things like that. You could uh, move if you're wanting to. That's basically... Just moving to a position, lend first aid, range attack, close combat, or take cover, like try to hide behind something, or like say in other actions such mm -hmm. as I'm closing the door and trying to barricade it. Say there's there's no hell. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna wait here till it approaches an attack. If you're gonna attack it, then it's either ranged or, or melee. Okay. Uh what was what was Kalani doing again? Are we are we like in are we in the combat? Yeah, it's say it's not initiative like D and D style. It's like I've okay. declared what I'm. It's going towards Kelsto's character. It's going to to Harley. It's going to yeah, close totally. to melee. It's going to be opposed roles. If you're doing it, uh, it's opposed roles as well. But you would get. I mean, look here because there's helpless defender or. Yeah, because I'm trying to draw its attention towards me, so if anyone if comes up behind two you, fighters gang up me. on a single enemy, the lone fighter must decide who to roll an opposed roll against. The lone fighter is then considered defenseless. Uh, a defenseless target oh. and a defenseless target is, should you attack someone who is unaware of, of the attack or otherwise unable to defend themselves, it is not an opposed roll. You simply need to succeed with the skill to hit. Uh, each success beyond the first increases the damage by one point. And there's more car like this zombie is between two cars, right? There's you just had there's several cars here. You can maneuver to get to it if you want. We're just kind of theater of the mind. But yes, it's okay. a, a crowded parking garage. I want to try and get under a car and stab it in the foot when it walks by, like closer to it. I want to stealth up on it. Okay, so it's you're going to melee attack. It's just that's how you're describing how you're doing it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm trying to get the uh, unaware bonus. Is that possible here? No, that's what I'm saying. You don't have to do that. It's focused on Kelso, so anybody else getting oh, okay. up on it just has to succeed on your attack. Yeah. It's not an opposed attack. Kelso will be All the right, only yeah. one doing an opposed one. You describe gonna, how you want to do it. I'm going like, to quickly punch down. Cause I'm using my short stature to my advantage. I'm going to get closer, and I'm going to roll under a car and jab it in the foot. And I'm going to try to knock it over. Okay, so we'll do these things. So, Kelso, you're running up to it. If you know there, you're... Damn it. Who's who again? Who's uh, going up to it? Fiona's Jack. <clears throat> Fiona's Jack. Yeah, so it's the three of us. Kalani's rolling underneath a car. So the way we'll start with this, I'm attacking uh, Harley So. We make opposed yeah. rolls. What am I rolling? Uh, you're close combat. Do, 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 do. Now, if you go to the combat tab, yeah, so I got one success, you got no success, so I deal one point of damage to you. You can on your, uh, let me open the character sheet. Yeah, the, uh, the health bars now, if, the, if any of you have, like, a strength, is your strength score is equal to your health, all characters in this game have three hit points. So if you're showing four, 
You don't have four. You have three. So I just click one off. So, oh, yeah, so you've got one hit. And uh, you also... Did it bite me or how does it hurt me? Let me double check on that. Because also, I believe you get a level of stress. I, what I should have done earlier is made me a cheat sheet with all the charts. Let's go with the uh, search feature. Forgive me for uh, not knowing this like the back of my hand yet. This is the first time I've run it. We don't care. Uh, for the first couple sessions of me getting of doing shadow run for our WoW guild. Uh, I had to do the same thing, and that was a system that I had I was familiar with. Okay, stress factors. So these are examples of stressful situations: pushing a roll, not getting enough food or water, uh, being attacked by a walker, being shot at, uh, being framed for murder, being rejected by your lover, killing another human being in cold blood, seeing someone in the group be get bitten, uh, seeing someone in the group get broken by damage, being broken by damage, or being bitten. So. Let me double check oh. on bitten. Yeah, but, yeah. Does it bite me or does it just like lunge at me? Because I don't remember when I was reading through this saying exactly how that does. If I don't find it here real quick, I'm just going to uh, make a ruling walker attack. I'm going to do, uh, actually, roll me a, a D66, Kelsto. So 2D6. Basically, it's like rolling percentiles. The first one's a uh, the tens. So 46. 46. Uh, you protect your face, but it bites you in both earlobes. Your only chance to survive is to cut the earlobes off within D6 hours. Both, both earlobes? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Someone get Tyson off me! <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. If I'm not doing this correctly, then because uh, there's a walker attack uh, thing that's under the single walker attack, because there's one where if you're doing a skill, let's say you're trying to uh, open this car and you failed your spot roll or whatever, and you don't see it, but you mess up breaking in, you did, you triggered a walker, you see maybe it was underneath it, and it runs out. You just make an oppose. It's a single shot attack. It either gets you or you get it, and then you roll on that table. Because uh, that one's even saying that you take two points of damage instead. But I'm not. I'm not doing that. You just take one. And uh, but you are bitten. But you're gonna have to cut didn't the mirror lobes off. Um, didn't you say that we act first, though? No, we do. Uh, NPCs act first. Basically, it's opposed at the same time. Now, if he had won, if he had gotten uh, one success, also. Both would have dealt damage. If he got two successes, he would have dealt damage, and the other, the undead wouldn't. So I it's instead of taking turns, I declare what I'm doing first. You declare yours, but we resolve them simultaneously. And that's why these combats are actually much faster once we get rolling, because it's not a let me attack you. Now it's your turn. Now you attack. It's both at the same time. You could literally kill each other at the same attack. I pull out my Ziploc bag full of random change, and I summon 17 homeless people. Okay, but you do have a uh, level of stress, and the people that can see you... So, uh, Luca, what were you doing? I was coming up the stairs. You're going up the stairs? 
Isn't that where how, how they got in? We have no, not walked that's where the, the grenade yet. is. Oh. That's where the bomb is. Right. Oh, I was we're, trying to so figure we're out. On the did they come floor. in there? I was you're... literally just following them. Okay, so you're doing that. So each of you see him getting bit around the face. He's he's trying to move, but as he turns, it's biting his earlobes. Hold so, so uh, I'm not over that. Each of you, uh, underneath the health bar, is a stress level. Just put it should be a yellow one. Everybody tick one stress. There's there's yeah. a health bar and then there's two stress bars. Yeah, the the one it's not showing it because they haven't updated to the new uh, UI update. The bottom one's green. That's for radiation in Alien. So you want the middle one. Okay. It should be yellow. So just one? Or... Yes, because everybody saw somebody get bit. So that's, oh shit, everybody's kind of stressed. Gotcha. Okay, so uh, Fiona and Kalani, both of y'all can just make your attack. You don't have to do opposing. So if you hit it, you do your damage. There's one success. And see that yellow die is your stress die. If that comes up a one, something happens. That's oh, good. No. Well, I nick it for one. Okay. Uh, do you want to push that roll, Kalani? No. And you also, well, you didn't put a stress die in. I don't need to. I'm a child of this world. I don't take stress from watching people get bit. Oh, nice. That's, that's, one, that's his talent. Or her, her talent. I, I live this. You guys, this is my world. You guys live in it and die in it. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear my ears getting bitten off. (laughs) (laughs) You see me turn around. Ah, not my ear. He goes to the other side. So the weapons you're using, uh, Fiona, is it just a one point? It should just a regular old knife. Okay. So that's uh, what? Plus two to hit and then one damage. Yeah. One damage. Okay. So it takes one. Okay, uh, it's basically the next round. What's everybody? Uh, what's everybody doing? Stab, stab, stab. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are the any the others? Are you all getting involved, Luca, Jackson, or or Grace? Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, put my uh, police academy training uh, to good use, and uh, I'm going to try and uh, do a takedown on this walker. I'm gonna try to hit Tyson. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to get the the walker off of Harley. Okay, you, so basically, it's a. Are you trying to dick kill it or just pull it off? Because uh, a lot of this is I mean, very, it's, it's very narrative it's biting. driven. Yeah, it's it's biting at him. So I'm gonna try and I guess I'm gonna try and stab it in the head. Okay. Uh, what about Jackson or Luca? Y'all watching? Um, I'm gonna look around to make sure we're not drawing anything else towards us. Let's uh do what they call here a lucky die. Just roll a d6. Uh, you do not. You have not attracted anything else yet. I'm mostly doing this so I don't have to look at Harley's earlobes. <laughs> okay, so uh, go ahead and we'll do the uh, opposed roll. Harley, you and the walker. All right. Come on, buddy. Uh, I got no successes. Two. You got two. So uh, you do, how much does your, okay, we're going to say that you're using that big rebar thing. Uh, yep. I would like to cause separation anxiety between his head and neck, please. Yeah, so that's going to be, we'll say... Uh, a lot of anxiety! With those two, you, you, how do you kill it? I just, he bites my ear. I kind of just grunt in anger, and I swing as hard as I can at that head. Okay. Yeah, you do that. You manage to... Uh, Grace comes running and grabs it, and is pulling it off of you, getting ready to stab it in the head. And as soon as you does, it slips out of her her grasp, and you just have that baseball swing, and you just and the head just squishes like a melon. Grace nice. is kind of holding it for a second, and then drop it. Uh, you see your earlobe is missing. 
Everybody, it's, you've seen he, he got bit. Oh, oh, Harley. <laughs> I'm going to look at everyone. Is it bad? No, it, it looks all right. I what have about that. the other one? It's also <laughs> bad. <laughs> I do that thing where you, you cut both of your hands over your mouth to, like, cover your gasp. And I'm just wide-eyed staring at you in shock. Uh, Kalani has no reaction at all and just walks up and pulls out her knife and says, we got to get the rest of your ear. Wait, who has the highest medical role here, first of all? I'm like, oh, 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 who's got the steady hand? I got a two, but I can't cut my own ear off. I have a, a zero. <laughs> I have a one. Anyone else? Any takers? Anyone have higher than one? I have two. Um... And what? Oh, it looks like it's the child. Oh, the kid's gonna do it. <laughs> the kid this is gonna do it. That's why I volunteered. This kid has some balls. I trust your steady hand. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead. The rest of the year off. I'm gonna bite onto the bottom of my knife. This is gonna hurt like a bitch. Uh, that's a currently a zero. Do now, I just uh, roll again? Hang on. There, you can also. If you're trained in the skill, you someone else can try to help. Basically, they roll their skill, and for every success they get, gives you an extra die. The Shadowrun teamwork system, gotcha. Okay, can so I, I, I can... roll to help with my own ears in any way? Yeah, you're like trying to hold it, like, like right here, right here, just cut here or whatever. <laughs> nope. Do either of you want to push that roll? Uh, it's only a six of success. That feels so weak. Mm. Yeah, you you might want to push this one. For yeah, me. I guess. I, what okay, is pushing so again? Who, who's pushing? Oh, well, so what does it do exactly again? Well, whoever's pushing, you add another level of stress, and then then roll again. Okay, yeah, I'll do it. Okay, so let Kelsto go first. To see. So as he's do. as it's not going well, I'm like ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha. Um. Two. I did roll a one on a stress die, though. Uh, that's. <laughs> it oh. says you got. Oh, okay. So uh, you d you're successful, but you screwed up. Nice. So uh, that uh, you get to roll two extra die, Scott. So go ahead and roll your skill, and then you can drop two extra d sixes. I mean, or, I, just I don't know. Maybe in modifier, okay. in the modifier, go uh, uh, put two there. Okay. Oh, and then click the push. Oh, that's still zero. Did it add the two in though? How, what's your normal roll? Mod stack plus two. Okay, so it did yeah. do it. So you're not successful. What you do? He's like, no, no, here, he, he's he's making you nervous with what he's pointing out. So you're like, fine, fine, I'll do it the way you say, and you slice his ear completely off. So you take a, a point of damage, Kelsto, and you scream in pain. And it just echoes through here. To be fair, I did say I was biting on my neck. Yeah, you do that, but that's the mess up. Okay. That that was the uh, basically the... Uh, face hugger on the die you're doing mm -hmm. that trying to but it's too much because you aren't expecting the entire ear to come off and part of your uh skin on the side of your face as she just screws oh, up oh yeah and so you scream do i take another stress too or no, just, no, I'm uh... saying this, no you don't i'm sorry she didn't mess up so you don't take a point of damage but you do scream from it okay which at that point the th they have what's called threat levels for how many zombies and stuff in the area. So I'm gonna say that now goes up to a a threat one, which you start hearing moans and movement from all around. Uh oh! Fantastic. Roll. Uh, someone roll me a. We'll see. Uh, since you're the one that screamed, Kelsey, roll me a D10. Oh God. Three. There are three walkers. <laughs> Chokes on them. I don't have any ears left. 
<laughs> What's that? What's that, Grace? I can't hear. <laughs> I was uh, I was eating a snack, and you just what? made me laugh. I still can't hear. So we'll say that's where they're at. <laughs> you you detect the movement. I'm pretty sure your eardrums are still working just fine. Oh, I know. I uh, I'm I'm gonna come over and start slapping some first aid. Um, slap a bandage over your ear uh, as quickly as I can, just to just to stem the bleeding. Cool. Give me a medicine roll. Uh, you wanna you wanna assist with this one too, Calisto, or no? Yeah, I will. Or some somebody want to assist with that? Well, that's a lot Three. of sixes. And two sixes. Do sixes matter at all in stress yeah, days? Th those, well, that's successes, so you needed at least one. Uh, so that means I get to roll with three more, right? Uh, if he's assisting, yes, you get to add three extra dice, so just put that in the modifiers. So just do plus three? Yeah, you should just be able to put three. Or Yeah, there's a plus three there. You can click that. Okay. One six. <laughs> hey, that's all. You, that's all you need is a success. So yeah, you get them bandaged up pretty good. Uh, let's see, how far away are these things? Just want everyone to know that's my first six that I've rolled tonight. So these walkers come run, uh, come uh, shambling towards y'all. Uh, what are your actions? Well, they're going for one, two, three, four, five, six of you. So the northernmost. Where are they at? Is going for Harley. The middle one is going for Fiona. Harley. Oh, there they are. I see them now. This one's going for Fiona and the other one. Is also going Whoa. for Fiona. The fancy dice. Thank you. Snazzy. So uh, yeah, that makes sense. Both of those can see her. She's closest. They actually, the random dice picked uh, who was closest to them. So they're closing in on you. And they are. All right, uh, well. That one is barely in range. So yeah, it can close to a melee. Uh, I'm going to attack whatever rushes at me. Well, Jig's up anyway, because uh, <laughs> he, he screamed real loud, so yeah. time this, to break out the firearms. Yeah, at this point, um, Silence is no longer our friend. Okay. Well, so, I mean, uh, it still is. But. Uh, those of you doing ranged, go ahead. You can make your shot as they're, as they're coming up. I'm going to... And how much damage does that do? Two damage. Two damage, and that was Walker one? Uh, Walker three. three. Okay. Let me it's roll. down to what one is? hit point. Uh, oh. it's a skill do anybody else shooting? I see. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Where is it? Skill? Oh, ra range combat. I see it. Uh, I'm going to shoot at Walker 3. I'm going to shoot at 1. Okay, so hang on. Uh, Grace, how much uh, damage does your weapon do? 2. Oh, nice. Uh, for each extra success is a point of damage, an extra point. So, Grace, you were shooting which one? Uh, Walker 3. Walker Damn, three. Jackson. Okay, so it yes, only sir. had one point left, so that one goes down. That's uh, like a headshot, right? Who's Jackson shooting? Uh, Walker one in the middle. Walker one? Uh, ha yeah, ha how do you kill that one? Just uh, clean through the noggin. Just perfect. So you drop. Is that the one they were skipping after me? Uh, yes, sir. Walker one. Yep. I'm just going to thumbs up. <laughs> That one's dead. That one's dead. And this one was close. Any other ranged? Say that one closes in with you. That's uh, opposed rolls. Let's 
So make your close combat. So quick question. With the kind of the intent as we go through the different steps, can we decide to do our melee attack? So like as nothing ever even made its way walking towards me, can I divert and go towards that? Or am I just basically sitting here waiting? No, I'll say yeah, you can you can close on that one. Okay. So I kind of like start looking at the one that was rushing towards me as it gets shot in the head, give the thumbs up, and then I'm gonna go help out Fiona and okay. attack as well. So Fiona, you're you got Two successes, so you deal your... What's your weapon damage, your melee? The weapon damage is one. One, so that does two points of damage to it. It did nothing to you because it failed. Uh, Kelsto, go ahead. Uh, oh, that delicious. is day two. Uh, yeah, and you... How do you, how do you kill it? You run up? Uh, so as it goes in and it starts lunging down, I'm going to come from a top down and just like smack it in the back of the neck or the back. You just hear the that bone crack and and splinter. Nah, uh, you look around. You can hear movement throughout the place, but you don't see any immediate threat. But definitely, uh, there are more walkers in the area. I pick up Fiona. Or I guess I don't need to pick up Fiona. All right, so, we'll have to move quick. Let's get a move on. Yeah, let's get a move on. <laughs> yeah, we you know, need to. Speed is our speed is our ally now. I'm gonna kind of walk a little bit slower. And you guys can until Jackson awesome comes right? next to him. I'm gonna put my arm around him on his shoulder. I'm just gonna pat him on the other side. Good job, buddy. So sorry about your elopes, bud. What? And just gonna smile and then. Gonna... And oh, don't hand. worry. You're still pretty. Just kind of pat him on the head. Okay, so y'all are uh They'll grow back. hauling ass to the to the next level or trying to stealth it? Um I mean I'm not gonna like sprint up there, but I'm gonna go at like at least a good half pace unless something comes out. I just need to know how the group's yeah. moving. If it is just everybody can give me a uh, a piloting role if you're trying to be stealthy or if you're just trying to, to move quickly, give me a mobility role. Anyone going quick? No, I'll uh, we'll stealth it. Okay, so we're all. I fail. <laughs> God damn it, Harley! <laughs> I'm dragging the concrete behind me. You want to push it? Get a lot of stress dice here. You know what? Hmm. Oh man! So I I have two successes, but I rolled a one on my stress dice. Oh, so uh. Right back. Oh, barely. If you want to meta game at Kelsto, you can, you can not worry about pushing it if you want. Because mm. uh, Grace Grace does something. What what do you do to screw up the stealth? Uh, I'm assuming I'm just like dragging the concrete behind me a little bit, just because I'm a little distracted by the ear pain or lack thereof ear pain. So what's the uh, so I I screw up regardless. Yeah. So yeah, what you're yeah, you're successful. You're being sneaky, but what you didn't notice is that between one of the cars, there's like a walker kind of like pinned between two of them. It looked like it was dead, but it reaches out to to try to bite at you. So do your uh, so, post. So what's what's the whole panic thing then? That that's something the the panic thing that it rolled that's a an aliens built in thing that's not for Walking Dead. Oh, so the the yeah because when you when is, you do that in worst. aliens it there's a panic table where if you rolled like the worst possible you just have a heart attack. Yeah, you basically got like, stressed out. You pee your pants. Community. You just stand there frozen. That that's not this doesn't have the same tables. But a one on your stress die means you've triggered like a, a just a single attack kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, make it. We'll do a make your mobility, or you can choose mobility or your uh, close combat. Mobility and, or uh, close combat. I okay. got. I've got one success. 
Uh, I you got no have successes. Another failure. So roll me a d sixty six. So just roll a six twice. Sure. It's not going so well. Can I swing in on the end of that one too? As she's getting attacked and bit. I'll use it after. Whatever. Uh, Twenty four. Oh, they have bad or good? I forget for you guys. Uh, <laughs> let me scroll back to that chart. I'll be glad when they get this. Because uh, this, I think, would be fun for some one shots. Yeah. Is that supposed to be a D100? No, it's kind of like a D100. It's a D66. Okay. There's also D666 tables, which you would roll three sixes. Uh, or hopefully not roll all three sixes. And this will be better, too, once I can... Uh, read through it a couple of times to really fully consume how to do everything. Uh, there it is. There's a 24. Uh, you jump to get away from them. Make a mobility roll. If you fail, you fall and take one point of damage. So, so you, Yeah, so it goes, it, it reaches out and tries to bite you, and you're like, shit, and you just jump out of the way. So, not a problem. Can I... Yeah, it, it, yeah. You walk over there and you just you just brain it. Not a problem because okay. it was pinned between the cars. <sighs> but uh, I'm gonna reach down to help up Grace. But as you, that's that's where you mess up on yourself. As you do that and you you uh, crush its head, oh. that that nice. cement part just kind of crunches into the uh, the metal of the back of the. Uh, why am I going the trunk? Mm -hmm. My dumbass was going blank for that. You crunch them in the trunk, and it's like just real loud. You don't see anything else at the moment, you but you hear shuffling in the darkness. Oh. Separate, I'm assuming, the head of the zombies also between the car. <laughs> yeah, so you kill that. So you're, you you manage to get it. You all get up to the, the second story. So uh, as you come around, you're on. you all move forward. Nice. Uh, let's see... Kind of more, y'all probably uh, underneath here. Is the music getting any louder? Uh, yes, it does appear to be getting louder. What song are we on currently? Uh, 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 it's uh, another skinny, poison skinny. song. It's Unskinny <laughs> Bop this time. Damn it, I was hoping for Talk Dirty to me. Not today, Jack. You know what? I'm going to go to YouTube, and I'm going to play it for myself. Yeah, I'm probably lagging a little bit behind just for all the blood coming down. Probably like this, my sideburns and the sides of my beard are all caked with blood. Yeah, let's get you up to this ambulance. Maybe they got some gauze or something, and we can yeah, wrap some, you up real good. Get Does you to the amber lamps. Does anyone have a Sharpie? <laughs> so as you get to the second floor... I've got uh, you notice that somebody has arranged the cars up here so that they're all placed against the north side of the building. Uh, you can, music is clearly audible from here, and it looks like they're all like door to door to where like it's making a barrier or maybe where somebody could like walk across the top of it. And right next to the western wall, there's a motor car. Uh, Sitting there, it looks like it leads right to it, and it's got a moon roof that's open. Uh, you also notice about let me put a marker on here. About right there, let me move y'all. you see a rope ladder. So, so are we on the top? You're on the second, second level. How to, do we, I know unfortunately, how to, yeah, how you're, yeah, it sucks. I've only got the one map. Right. <laughs> Imagination. Do you know how many floor? Well, is the do the uh, lot say how many floors are it's supposed to be? It's a three-story building, so you only got the the roof is above you. 
So that green circles were the letters or the hanging ladder? Yeah, the, the green circles were the ladder. And there's a whole, like, basically from the stairwell area. Yeah. There's cars lined up all the way to that. Right by the, by the uh, ladder is the uh, the caravan kind of thing. And then and is it going down or is it coming from the level above? It looks us? like it's going up. Okay. And then the uh, same thing all the way from uh, the right side of it all the way to the other end. It's just got vehicles like door to door. Like they've been done intentionally like that. It's like a makeshift shelter. Uh, more of a what you can guess would be a a walk path, say from them to get to the caravan. It's the one. It's kind of sideways. It's the one that stands out. All the others are your regular mid-sized cars. We go up, or do we check it out? I don't know. Somebody spent a long time setting up shop here. Okay, I can go take a look. See. Uh, I'll go with you. <laughs> Safety just, in numbers. Uh, give me a pilot check for your if you're still being stealthy. Oh, oh never mind. I rolled a six on my stress die. Never mind. I failed it on my stress die. Again. I succeeded and failed on stress. Uh, anybody that failed normal going to, uh, so it looked like Luca and Jackson. Y'all want to push those rolls or? I mean, it just rolls what I, I rolled again, right? You would, if you push it, you add another stress die and re-roll to try to get successful. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised I made it as far as I did on four dice. I don't think pushing it does anything for me. Okie doke. Uh, I'm going to check. Okay, so you're doing that. Roll me a. Uh, roll me a d6, Garrett. Uh, you make a loud noise. You kick like a. There's a an old uh, Coke can sitting there, and you just end up skidding across underneath all the vehicles. And that alerts four zombies or four walkers. Uh, Harley, as he's doing that, you turn. And you're like, shit, you see him. And you start backing up. And you back and there's a pickup there. And from the bed, a walker rises up behind you. So we'll do resolve yeah. that one. That's kind of a one-shot attack thing. So roll your uh, combat. Roll your roll. One and another fail on stress. Oh my God, Harley. They're everywhere. Okay, so... But you did get a success. Mm -hmm. And I got none. So you, you, you turn and you just turn super quick. Baseball swing. Take this thing's head off. But as you do, you mm -hmm. lose grip on your rebar weapon. And it goes flying out of the... Uh, the parking garage. Oh, shit. Just the concrete or the whole thing? No, the, the whole thing. It slips out of your hand. Right. So you do not have your uh, two-handed weapon anymore. That's but you okay. did kill the walker. Uh, the others... real quick I'm going to start to stagger a little woozy I think we got to get to that ambulance quick okay hmm? so those come like stumbling out from between vehicles crawling up from underneath them uh, first one I'm starting at uh, number one 
We're going for Fiona. Number two. We're going for Alani. Three is also going after Kalani. And number four is going after Jax. So they're all closing in on you. Uh, any range? Yes, sir. I will be shooting zombie number or walker number one. Okay, those of you with range, go ahead. Do you want to push that? Uh... Do uh, both of you want to push, push that? Yeah, I will also you... be shooting at Walker one. Uh, no, I'm not going to push. Oh, no. oh. Holy moly, oh no. No one wants to push it? I'll, uh, I'll push, push it button. to the limit. Okay. Uh, just uh, do the hit the push button at the bottom. Let me see if that uh, auto adds the stress die before you put it on. Yep, it added one. And it fell on the stress deck. Oh boy. So, uh, okay, so you, what's your weapon damage? Uh, plus two. So just two, and, two. and then you did two extra. You did four damage. So again, you just. Uh, canoe the head on that one, and you were targeting four. Four. So that time four is gone. But head. as you do it, you trying to reload, and it it jams. The guns jam now. That was your mess up. Uh, I'm gonna push. Uh, no one else is pushing. Shot. No, I'm I'm gonna try and push. Okay, so just click the push button. Um. Uh, so question for you. Uh, my steady hands. Uh, it says not roll any stress die on one skill roll. Uh, would that include push push die? Uh, no. If you wanted Got to re, it. you could basically re-roll, but you would be rolling without your stress die in there, so you would be rolling less dice. But you wouldn't be adding an extra stress die by pushing. Okay. You would just get your normal attack. Minus stress. Got it. All right. There's my push. God damn it. Same thing. Uh, what kind of gun do you have? Uh, it's just it's a it's a standard issue service pistol. This pistol. Okay. Uh, yeah. you hadn't paid attention. Yeah, but you you're freaking out of bullets now. Shit. I need a I need to find another clip. Where did I put all my clips? I don't know. But you do. What's your base damage? Uh, two. Two, and then you did an extra one, so that's three. Which one were you targeting? I was targeting Walker 1. Walker 1. It's dead. Yep. Uh, it added another stress die. Uh, yes, when you put it, every time level. you push, it adds a stress die. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that, that was uh, that was correct. Cool. That's one of what's helpful. It's, it's, Alien does it real good, where... Because that's when you make in uh, those extra ones like it, that keep it together. You're making other checks. It gets it really builds tension in, in aliens. Thank you, Ferris. For what? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Giving you some ideas. No. We might have to have a stress mechanic in place for uh, the void spawn fight now. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, the rest of you are doing melee? Uh, I suppose. Yeah, I got a knife, but... Um, oh, yeah, so both of those are going at Kalani. Is anything going at Jackson, or they're both going... Is anything, uh, no, took, it took his out, so we'll say y'all are, like, spreading out. I'm going to attack You're still with the I'm one just doing that goes this after her. Movement. Yeah, so I'm going to attack the one that goes after Kalani, or one of the ones, I guess, that goes yeah, after. Yeah, so she's getting ganged up on. So the first one... Uh, Shit, what did I even do? You, be, you look yummy. Great. 
So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna you... hold you to that. I'm gonna make myself look as unappetizing as possible. <laughs> and when you try to attack me, I'm gonna be like, Bradley, you made that cannon. So which one are you gonna uh, try to oppose? Does it matter? Three. Like yeah, from because a, the from other a real... one doesn't have to oppose you. If you get more yeah, successes, yeah, no, that's, that's my Bradley. That's my question, dude. Does it matter which one I oppose? They're both attacking me. Correct. I'm just saying for so, so I know which one you're mainly targeting with. Whichever one attacks me first. Okay, we'll make your uh, combat roll. I got one success. So if you get two successes, I rolled none. Oh no, stress fail. Uh, do you want my close it? combat is like really bad. Do you want to push that roll? No. Okay, so it does uh, roll uh, two d6s separately. Yeah. I need oh, to not the kid. Not the kid. D66. I need to mark where this chart. So a 50. Oh. Roll one more. 55. 55. I think I've rolled a grand total of a single success this whole game. Shiggity what? These stress dice really do kind of amp it up a little bit because either I'm failing normally or I'm succeeding for that failing on the stress dice. Oh, this one can't I also be. don't have fears though. You know what? I've got I don't think this is the because that single walker table I think is only for those single walker ones. Because that's that's pretty bad. I told you I haven't rolled I've rolled one six this entire session. Okay, this is a one shot. You can push it, man. Yeah, push it, dude. Push that roll. Okay, it just feels like I'm being punished because I can't roll dice well enough. <laughs> push it to the limit. Uh, so do I push both push of them? Button. Do I have to? Oh no, I guess I guess I can only push one. Yeah, you can only push once. So just uh, roll the push. All right, I'll put a stress on. Ah, uh, that's zero. No, uh, oh. it didn't add the the die. Did you use the push button at the very bottom? Hey, thank oh, you for no, the raid. Man. Appreciate it. What is? How much extra Welcome is it supposed Saturday. to add? It's supposed that to add one more? more stress die, and you oh, already okay. had one. Zero. Okay, so uh, you were bitten in the throat, blood everywhere. <laughs> you die. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. No. Oh no! Well, time to roll up a new character. Yeah, um, I'm gonna be honest. If only a six is a success, that's too much RNG for me. Yeah, this the six is pretty brutal. Yeah, I, I don't uh, make this. You're, they're supposed to be. I think it's done that way because it's supposed to be brutal. Is my guess. Okay, so uh, they're doing that. Who was who else was melee? Uh, I am. Wait, aren't we here rescuing medicine for her sister? Yep. Oh shit. Well, at least if we fail, her sister won't be disappointed for long. I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> who else was was uh, melee? Uh, I am. Uh, I'm Besides, just with uh, my knife. Harley. I'll give it a shot. One success. Okay, hey, and, no uh, with your knife, so it does uh, one damage? I believe so, yeah. Uh, no, it, uh, it says plus two. That That's bonus. That means it gives okay, you two die just one. using that one. Yeah, yeah, just one damage then. Okay. And Luca. Are you attacking two I was about or to three? Ask this is based on fate, but this is actually D6. As fate uses a D100. Uh, I'll attack two, I guess. Okay. So how do I roll my weapon? <laughs> uh, on your combat, it should be the second tab, I think. It says combat. There should be a button beside whatever your melee weapon is. I try to tell the windows kind of smushed together. I know, because they are bleeding out the side. Uh... It should be the one that's got the like the little plus with the zero. 
under your combat tab. It's a, the die. It looks like the D6 emblem. What the fuck? Because you've got a lot of stress. Uh, that's a success. How much damage does your weapon do? Do you have a knife? It's a hammer. It says plus two. Then no, no, there's bonus and, and damage. Everything it, it my sh I can't tell. I, if it's the one it's next to the plus two, it's one. Yeah, it's a one. Yeah, because yeah, on the plus layout two is it's... your bonus dice. The next one. Hey, what's up, Vanku? Well, you I know, can't make the uh, character window bigger. Undead have to kind of uh, attack people. Sorry, as a shitty uh, Christopher Walken one. Uh, yeah, it does one point. So, next next round. Who's doing what? Uh, do I see Kalani's gun, or did Kalani not have a gun? Kalani's like 12. I have, I have a pistol. Oh my god, who gave you a gun? I know she's strapped. It's my world. We, we all just get to die in it. <laughs> yeah, if I can, I'm gonna go for the pistol and pop one off it. One of these. I guess this. I'm looking at the combat tracker. Those. I guess you have to fill in the dots because it's not showing you to have health on somebody. I'm like, why do y'all not have health? I guess you got to take away dots when you get hit. Okay. Oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go around. I'm help Luca with Walker too. Okay. Who's anybody doing ranged? Yeah, I'll would, it, would the pistol, if I pick it up and try to use it, is that considered range, even though it's in close combat? Yes, because you can use it as short, but like if you screw up, like with a one, you might hit somebody or run out of ammo or it break. I can live with that. What do you want me to roll? Uh, or do you want to put the gun it's, on it's my... Whatever your range combat is. Uh, hang on. Close range. I have a zero. Yeah, you should just be able to, under your skills, just click the range combat. It will, hang on. Yeah. Pistol gives you a bonus. One success? Also, hang on. Here. Pistol gives you a plus two. So you can roll two more die. See if they're sixes. Uh, oh, not four to two. So, so just you did hit two. once, and it does two points of damage. And which so that's one? that's Walker three. Walker three. So he should have three damage total. One from my knife and two from the pistol. Yeah, so it's dead. And just hold the pistol like right up under its jaw and let it go. I'll uh, be shooting at Walker 2. Shoot it. Oh, nice. Yep, that will finish that one off. And, uh... Kalani, what are your last? You're you're laying there grabbing your throat as your blood's just gushing out. What are your last words? Uh, gurgle, gurgle. I'm gonna look up at Jackson. Best look away. I'm gonna look down at uh, Kalani. Don't worry, I'll cut it off, and I will put my knife into the throat and just Ooh. slice. I give you a Terminator thumbs up. He take the head off. Yeah, I make sure. Wipe my wipe knife dead. off on her jacket. Grab any extra ammo she may have. Put it in my back pocket and carry on. I wipe away my tears on my alpaca hat. Poor little Kalani. So, while uh, we're all like gathering ourselves, um, so am I like just straight up? I'm totally out of bullets, or I was just out of bullets in that clip. No, you're out of bullets now. So you're gonna have to find some more ammo. 
What uh, what kind Kalani of ammo? Kalani had pistol ammo. <laughs> yeah, what kind of ammo was Kalani using? Uh, Same kind as your gun. That's why per I keep. Perfect. I had a regular pistol. That was it. I'll perfect. take whatever ammo I have and I'll split half of okay, it with you, that. You split Praise. ammo. Awesome. Make them count. Okay. What's your next <laughs> move? Uh, you were moving up to the uh, the caravan. <laughs> hey, Jackson. You have you have those blankets and things with us, right? Yeah. I just remember that blanket I ripped in half. Can I have the other one? I'm going to rip that in half. I'm going to I'm going to wrap like a scarf around my neck. Yeah, it's just make, the like best. A, I'm going to like triple layer that thing up. <laughs> just just make it nice and snug. I respect that. I right, hold the other uh, path I had that I ripped off on that one back to you. Okay, so you. Uh... Say your goodbyes. You uh, bandage up your throat for extra, or armor up your throat for protection. Uh, cautiously check the caravan. Uh, mm -hmm. it appears to be empty, but it does look like somebody's been living in it. Is there any uh, like food? Yeah, ammo as you they go through behind? it, you find ten rations, five blood-stained backpacks, two knives, Ooh. a machete, two pistols, a shotgun, an axe and two walkie-talkies, but they don't have batteries. And there are also two bottles of liquor. Oh, uh, I'm oh, gonna grab thank God. I'm going to grab a shotgun and a bottle of liquor. <laughs> oh, I'll get the other bottle. Taking that machete. You're taking the liquor for medicinal purposes, right? Yes. <laughs> right? I have crippling alcoholism. <laughs> Internal and external. I don't have any years. Who wants the axe? I'm taking eggs. Better than stabbing those things with a knife. I have a feeling I just probably shouldn't be in melee. Yeah, yeah we need to learn bad. that. that... Melee is bad. Millie's really bad. Yup. I'm gonna fix the jam in my gun. Yeah, I'll be with it. Why'd you put jam in your gun? I was saving it for later. Raspberry. It's Kalani's favorite. <laughs> I just told Jackson that it's not actually Kalani's favorite. I just wanted to put I'm sorry, I think I was muted. Uh, the shotgun <laughs> does plus three bonus and oh, two yeah. damage. So if you want to just add that, just right click and uh, in your inventory or your gear, add a new gear item, open it up, and then you should be able to. There's a slot for bonus and one for damage, and then that should fix you up. Just make sure it's set to equip, then it'll show up under your combat tab. Shotgun bonus damage or damage three bonus three, uh, three two three bonus two damage for the shotgun. Three bonus two damage range long or short medium. Who wouldn't did Jack take that one? No, I took the shotgun. Okay, I took the machete. The machete, it's going to be a uh, two one, basically okay. plus plus two. So you could use the knife if you got it. Same damage. They okay. don't get I'm very swingy. Oh, here's the one I should have been doing for Kelstos. Uh Sledgehammer mm -hmm. plus zero oh. bonus three damage. Nice. Quarter right. staff you, oh, plus three what's bonus. Because I picked uh, up a pistol too. Pistols two two. Okay. Used at short range. Got it. Uh shotgun is short range as well. I'm gonna call it. Okay. Uh so from here. Uh, at the edge of the building, it doesn't sound as loud, but you through the that center portion, you can hear the music. You can tell it's coming from the the southern end of this complex or the parking garage. All right, I even named your pistol after you. <laughs> Shoot a zombie in the head for me. Tell him it's from Kalani. Shoot him in the neck. All right, so I got it. Holding the shotgun, I got the pistol tucked, knife put away. I'm good to go. Okay. Heading up to the All next right. level. 
Let's yeah, I guess I'll be over with. front man. Yeah, so... Uh, or do we have to go... We could walk up, right? There's nothing... Yeah, blocking, you, you, blocking y'all are now... Now the map is accurate. You are now walking up this middle section. Nice. Uh, so I'm going to... Take the rations and stuff? Hey, what's up, Corey? Uh, we're using... Uh, it's the Walking Dead system. It's from uh, Free League, but... What I'm using in Fantasy Grounds is the alien system because it's the closest to it, which is using uh, pretty much the same stats and skills and stress mechanic with, but simplified on the stress mechanic. There's no panic. Jackson, you're pretty strong, right? Uh, you can carry the rations. I'm pretty strong. So we'll say as yeah, you like, get up here, not emotionally, physically, yet yeah, emotionally, not so much. Uh, in the south <laughs> there. You see, you see the ambulance, and it's surrounded by about thirty walkers. Oh! And on shit. top of the car that's just behind it, you see like a boombox, and uh, clearly hear uh, music coming from there. White Snake is this love is playing currently? Now I kind of wish I grabbed the grenade. And I know, right? Hang on, where's? Kalani's back on the other side. Her body's down there. And uh, actually, this would make it easy. Everybody roll me a uh, a D10. Whoever, I just want to see who gets the highest. Okay. So, Fiona. Hang on. I was hoping I would roll a 10. Well, you're dead, so... <laughs> Their third triplet sister appears from the other stairwell. It's me, Galani. <laughs> Mysteriously, with all the same attributes. Uh... We take 31 damage and we die. See you oh, later, hang guys. Hang on, I've got to look at something. Rocks fall. No, close. One. If anyone finds a sharpie, let me know. I need to. Someone getting shot. Down. Okay, so uh, who who rolled the Fiona? Yep. You hear the uh, the crack in the report of a a large Ooh. caliber gun, and you take two points of damage. So oh, great! Oh, I drop immediately. No, no, no. This is Fiona. Oh, I know. I drop immediately okay. from the zone to the shop. Well, it's down to one. Yep. And uh, what are you doing? I'm going to take Fiona back downstairs. So you're going to do movement, trying to run. Well, I'm not getting closer to the zombies, and the idea of standing still fills me with bullets. So, okay, uh, everybody, give me a, uh, a an observation <laughs> roll. Even in this game, snipers are the worst. <laughs> are we missing one person? I think. Oh, I also get a level of stress because I was shot at. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, yes, everybody. Uh, no, no, whoever, Fiona. Yeah, you. Fiona gets the stress because you were hit. Can I take cover behind like a car close by? We're, we're, the map is correct as it is right now. Oh, no, there's, so there's no cars? No, well, you, the cars that are here, you can see. Okay. Um, uh, who, all, who am I missing on a observation? Three of you for sure notice they come. There's somebody's laying on top of that uh, blue van. And be like, Jackson, on top of the van. You're missing me. Message I'm back. You. Can I um, just like to react quickly, swing around and try to take a shot at them? It's, a, it's now an initiative. I'm going to shoot one of you again. So Did you get my message? That wants to 
Return fire. Who, who's shooting back? I will. Uh, me too. Okay. So everybody that's making a uh, shot. I have no gun and I must scream. Okay. So we'll, we'll do you? this for... Uh, Luca, were you shooting or you say you don't have... Who's got Luca? I can't remember. Me. Okay, and you don't have a ranged? No. You didn't take one from the deal below? No. I think everybody else grabbed the weapons. Okay, uh, Kalani's dead. Jackson, you're shooting? Yes. And Harley shooting. Grace? Shooting. Shooting, and Fiona? You best believe I'm shooting this motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Uh, Light her up. I am sh everybody roll a d10 that's alive and see who gets the next shot. Uh, Kelso, you don't have to roll. Whoa. Oh, no. Uh, Jackson. Okay, I'm going. Y'all go ahead and uh, let me get re resolve mine first. So, Jackson, you and me are rolling off. Roll off. Roll high. Roll high, Jackson. I got. He got a three and you three. got a zero. Do you, you want to uh, push, push it? I want to push, push it to the limit. Oh, oh no. Ooh. Stress fail. Okay. So, uh. Pretty sure that's Go ahead. You do how much damage? Um, two with the rifle. And I got one success. Okay. Oh, because they hit each other at the same time. There's no contest. Correct. So you do two damage. Hang oh, on. dude, you're so dead. Okay, <laughs> but as you do this, your your turn. You shoot and you go to duck. Kelstro, roll your dice. Uh, hold on. Come on, baby. Uh, what are you doing over there? I'm shooting. Uh, it does not want me to roll my shotgun for some reason. I don't know what I coded. Did you equip it? Yeah, it's equipped. It's in my active equipment. It shows plus three, plus two, and I'm clicking on my damage dice. And... Yeah, the the little black die. It's yeah. not doing anything. I'm getting an error message when I go to drag it. Uh, error system does not. Oh, hang on. Uh, category is. Uh... Let's see if that does it. And range is. Short. Click it again. See if it does. Yeah. You may just roll it manually. Hang on. Let me see what it's saying. Pick skill. Oh, I probably labeled it wrong. Uh, Why well, typed it in? I probably just missed the field. Hang on. Do it again. Because I know uh, that works for pistols. So it is on the shotgun. Oh, hang so on. Uh, let me look at somebody's real quick. Pistol is... Not blank. Where's your shotgun? Short. No, I didn't put a range in. That could be the issue. I wasn't sure if it was like we enter a beat. Are you using the there. pistol or the shotgun? Shotgun. Okay, try it again. Nope. You would just put a manual plus three on it and roll my. Uh, yeah, just do a plus three and then hit your range combat if it's not working. Yeah. <laughs> I do have fail my stress though. Okay. So, uh, it only had t uh, two shells, this double barrel. So, yeah. as you get hit, uh, Jackson, you spin around and see two barrels aimed right at your head as your head just explodes as the shotgun goes off. Oh my God. 
bro. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh my god. Harley? My hand it slipped. Jesus Christ. I We're dropping out. like flies. Okay. Uh the rest of, who else is shooting at uh I am. Okay, make your shot. Oh my god. Oh, that's I'm a, just like looking shock. The success and a critical uh critical fail. Okay, so again it, it, your gun jams at this point. I still hit her though, right? Correct, and it does how many damage? Two. Two? Two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, you right. see the, the body go the Betrayal. go limp and blood start pouring off the edge of the van. Oh my god. I'm gonna start fucking unjamming my goddamn gun. You got up right as I stood shot. <laughs> Actually got executed. Did I, I I'm sure that I saw Jackson's fucking head explode. Yeah, I look like well, that's another that's another moment. stress level. <laughs> that it is. Yes, uh that is definitely worth more stress, and you see all the uh, several of the walkers starting to peel off. Oh shit! Now we're out. Yeah, I no, think no, we need to come you don't back have to later. combat everything. You can fighting a swarm. You can also try to lead them off, or you can try to fight them. There's uh, rules for fighting swarms versus. Let me put thirty individual tokens on the map. No, I think we just leave. I think I think we've we suffered enough here. I want to uh, go grab. I want to go grab uh, this bitch's gun first. Do I get one? Her. You think I can get that? She's sure, alive. You can go over there, but some of those walkers are going to uh, cut off your the ramp exit. Yeah, is but, she alive or is she dead? Oh, she's dead. Uh, looks like I she's can... dead. Oh damn! I got her. Yeah. Honestly. Uh. Yeah. You see oh, that man, Nick's the... character. Put the uh, the killing blow. Uh. This is why you didn't have a gun, brother. Can't shoot for shit. I didn't even just try to be a good person. Can I follow him and give him cover? Sure. So you're Nick. Who are you playing again? Uh, I'm playing Grace. Grace. Uh, Don't I'm, get that I'm, sniper. Well, this is what I want to do. I want to tell everyone. I want to just tell everyone like. Um, I don't don't let the walkers see you. And I'm going to I'm going to play distraction. And Harley, you're giving cover. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are the rest of you? What are the other three doing? Fiona's dead. What's Luca and Jackson doing? Or, I'm sorry. Wait, I'm not dead. Jackson's dead. <laughs> I wish I was dead. You want to trade? Yes. Okay, what are what's uh Luca and Fiona doing? I'm fucking going downstairs. Fucking see you later. Okay, y'all are heading out. So they run down. I'm gonna provide cover. Dude, Fiona is almost like <laughs> she, she is uh she is Going through some shit right now, so yeah, she's just gonna follow Jackson. Who's gonna take care of my alpacas uh, now? Fiona's over here, like, Grace. man, if only I had stealth killed that zombie earlier instead <laughs> of trying to make six people roll stealth checks to get by it. Grace, that is me not me. at all the reason that this went so perfect. <laughs> Grace, give me an observation roll. All right. God damn it. Okay, so, uh, You notice, but as you're trying to climb, you slip on the blood and you don't have time to react. Uh, you see Harley pulling his pistol and aiming it at you. Go ahead and roll, Kelso. Oh my god. Oh, Harley, you fucking whore. Range combat? Uh, yeah, do your ranged. And this is... But uh, since you messed up, you don't, you don't get an opposing roll. Uh, but I race. get two, Not right? Different. You I get two what? for the pistol. It's uh, range combat plus two. Yeah, you just could roll your range. 
Oh, I fail my stress too. Okay. So, uh, that weapon is now out of ammo as well. Somehow, uh, you just unload, click, click, click. Only one of them hits, but you've wasted the rest of your ammo. And that does two hurt. damage to Grace. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two damage. All right. Yeah. And I got shot at some more stress. By your own party member, yes. Yeah. So add that stress up in there. The rest of you running downstairs, you hear gunfire. You hear the sound of a pistol going off, like rapidly. You continuing to run. You don't see what's going on. You just hear, hear shots. Uh, I would like to turn and shoot back at Harley. Okay, so this time both of you are doing range. You're, you're kind of like on the ground there. You pull your pistol and uh, raise up. Uh, Harley, here, you uh, traitorous. Harley, you so, traitorous fuck. I don't have any ammo left. Nope. So, so I'm going to stab her and try to stab her with the knife. Okay, both of y'all. So, uh, Grace, you're rolling combat, uh, melee. Kelso, you little rat. Close combat, and Kelso, you're rolling the your ring. One success. Uh, also one success. But with two stress fails. Oh, yeah, I meant to... I'm sorry. I meant to do my steady hands thing. I guess it's a little too late for that, though. No, no, no. Is it, so you want to roll without the stress die? Uh, correct. Okay, so there will be one session. success. Yeah. Uh, and what's your weapon damage do? Uh, two. Two and Kelsto. Now, do you want to push that? You no, know, it says you. It does say you can't. How how is it worded for your deal? For me? Yeah. For him? For you? Uh, it it just says once every session you may choose to not roll any stress dice on one skill roll. Okay, so you roll that without the stress die, and you get one success. But oh, so, do, but we do you it, want, now? It, do you want to push it? Saying. Because you're not going to have enough to kill him. Wait, uh, say, hang on. No, he's already injured. So yeah, you kill injured. each other. Yeah. <laughs> so if she's if pulling I had the trigger, more, if I you, had more you, successes you, you than him, would that forward. cancel him out? Do what? If we, if one of us had more successes, would that cancel the other person's success out? No. Oh. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me, let me double check. Like, this. if I if I pushed it, if we both pushed it, and, like, one of us got more. Hang on, yeah, hang on, because that's, I know I was looking at that versus Walker. Where's my rule? Like, isn't there, like, a du like a whole duel mechanic or something? This is, like, that famous last, uh... Yeah, hang on. Samurai uh, sword fighting moment. Let me double check. Who falls over? I knew, I knew you were eyeing my chewing gum. Harley, you fuck. You can't have it. Where is that chart? This is where I need one of those uh, DM screens that has all the shit in it. <laughs> we need like a background image of it. Oh, I should have been. Uh, there's a chart here I just see for like messing up in combat. You roll a d6, uh, out of ammo, hurt yourself, uh, as in accidentally fall, get cut, or get shot, one damage, friendly fire. Uh, attack walkers, attracts walkers, uh, the situation gets worse, house collapse, falls out a window, slips, etc., or bad positioning, opponents get the extra success, get it, get an extra success on the next roll, so there was a chart to be rolling on that. And, okay, opposed rolls in a duel. A and B get the same number, both deal their own weapon damage. A or B gets one more success than their opponent, only one deals damage. Oh, so we could push and see who rolls higher. Cal so said if we you want push to, this. but you just hit the push button. I'm not dying today. Me neither. Go, you want to roll first? It's it's simultaneous. Uh, so both of you just both of your if you're pushing. Oh. One oh, success. One. But no stress fails. And you have did, no stress fails. Possible. Did mine roll? Wait, hang on. No, mine didn't roll. I didn't see yours roll. Did I activate put? No, just push, push, push. The, click the push button at the very bottom. Yeah. When you put push, nothing happened? Yeah, nothing happened. Okay, then add another level of stress manually and then do your melee attack. Or ranged you attack. Mean, you mean my whichever. range? Yeah, whichever. Oh, I had two successes, but I, I had a failure so, as well. Yeah, well, 
that you still got more successes. Yes. Uh, but now I can use that one. Roll me a D6. Oh, no. Please just run out of ammo. Two. Oh, where did it go? Damn it. I just saw that table. So, yeah. How do you kill Kelso's character? Uh, well, I mean, he's try you're trying to stab me, right? In the throat. Mm -hmm. In the throat. Uh, I just, I put the gun just directly between your eyes. And, uh, without a word, I blow your brains out. Okay. And you rolled a two. So what happens? As you do this, you, you shred his head open with that last voice. But something malfunctions in the gun and it blows up in your hand, sending shrapnel all across you and you take a point of damage. And you, you you start bleeding out, and you die as well, because you have one hit point left, don't you? I do. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna start like reaching my arm up towards the top of the van, and then I just bleed out and die. Okay, who's left at this point? Me and Fiona. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> the politician. <laughs> We're going home. <laughs> Corey, you there's know, one. There's one uh, PVP person because I said their secret is uh, they were working with the person setting this up. It was a trap. Uh, there's actually people already in the van uh, that have, are trapped in the ambulance that they could have maybe joined up with. They were actually from Woodbury. That the Merle sent them here to look for supplies. Oh, interesting. But yes, uh, Fiona and Luca limp away in uh, no medicine. You've been betrayed and the rest of your party is dead. Here, here's, here's my... Fiona, is now a bad time to tell you I'm the one that sabotaged the roof? <laughs> <laughs> you remember at the beginning of the story how you all had the uh, roof collapse and everybody got pneumonia? Oh my god. <laughs> Is now a bad time to tell you that my secret was that uh, I wanted to protect every. I, I Brandon with his dying breath made me promise that I would protect everyone. Um, I my secret was that I also kind of just wanted to go live in Woodbury. Yeah, so uh, you wanted to meet these people. They they would have taken you where you wanted to go. My secret is that um, I <laughs> my secret is, is this is exactly how it says. Uh, you are certain that there is not a chance in the world anyone is still alive back in the Haven, but you're too afraid to tell the others. <laughs> and so it doesn't I figured, matter. I figured since this was a one-shot and I had to make up something for Kelso since it didn't already have a pre-gen for him, I'm like, what a great betrayal moment. And he could have chose. You know, she died, maybe been like, my girlfriend's dead. Fuck it, I'm going to stay with these people. But, oh no! So specifically, oh, was Rachel your brain. girlfriend? Yes, she's my girlfriend. So my, oh. I have a relationship with her. My personal agenda: win the love of a woman. And so basically, I'm trying to impress her. I accident make it accidentally look like I shot Jackson, and then you killed her, which is why I followed you to go shoot you. But yeah, Rachel then, Perez. You, you would have got him, but your gun blew up in your hand. That sucks. Yeah. Okay. Terrible. Dude, I, I agree with Scott. I had terrible rolls for most of the game. Oh, it's a I, brutal system, though. For this sure. is a very brutal system. I feel I, like my character was designed for something that literally didn't, like, wasn't going to happen. I just don't like any system that discourages creative ideas and roleplay by being too brutal. Like, why would I get to know any of your characters? We're probably dead. We all are. Uh -huh. Well, there's all, also all a very high probability that I was doing shit wrong, too. So. It's okay. It was fun. Well, the DM, if you look on Twitch, uh, the DM is a zombie. I think he's biased. He's biased. That he's the bitch. one in the back of the car. You <laughs> just watch him open that back door and strut down the street off into the distance. He was working with the all along. Though. It was the zombies all along. Well, cool. So that was our, our little one shot. Maybe I'll uh, 
there's a i've got another one if y'all want to try this again after i've got a more time to read through the rules there's another little adventure this was the one that came in the back of the the, the book i would have let uh, y'all see some of the more of the rules but i didn't want anybody to see the end of this there's in, uh stunts i don't know those never we never those never came up but uh some of them know, look kind of useful like push prone slash back or knock down slash pin now are you looking in uh the combat yes okay now stunts i don't think walking dead has stunts i think that's alien okay because i saw those like things happening like after each roll i was like success stunt one i was like what the fuck is what is that even what is happening here feels like the only thing to do in combat is to either kill or be killed. There's no, like, finesse. Sorry I shot you in the back of the head, Kate. It's okay, buddy. He's not sorry. Especially after I know you he's not sorry. Right. Sorry, not sorry, I was he's, muted. He's just upset we killed his girlfriend. All, all you had to do was say, like, hey, I'm from Woodbury. You want to come to Woodbury? And I would have been like, hell yeah. No, I'm kind of the one who is luring you up here in the first place. Yeah. Actually, I think we'll do. Uh, I'll read that other one. Maybe uh, it's different, and like I say, I'll get a better grasp on the rules. Honestly, uh, with with my secret and the knowledge uh, that I'm certain that everybody else is dead back at the Haven, this is kind of the best best case scenario for me. Kill the bitch who shot and uh, killed one of us, or almost killed one of us, and then kill her traitorous boyfriend. But also, doesn't this fit like an episode of Walking Dead? I don't know. Didn't didn't people like actually survive that for like? Well, main character. Y'all aren't main characters. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean we are? All main the new people that got introduced in this episode, or the people that you just randomly find that are only there and they you don't have no idea what we've ever acted in. The main oh, characters are from Woodbury. They're in the ambulance, and y'all's ruckus drew the walkers away, and they managed to get out. And you'll see them next episode. We all walk up to the ambulance. We open the back door. Oh my and Sean God. Bean is sitting inside. We're like, ah, oh, shit. You know, <laughs> we did a, we did unlock the most important achievement, which was more of us died to ourselves than to the zombies. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> Actually, I think I have the most kills for zombies and humans. Does that no. mean I unlock an achievement for being for dying to a zombie? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're yes. the only people that died to a zombie. Yeah, because uh, I killed four or five zombies, and then I killed Jackson. And technically, I killed Grace. Actually, I killed Kalani, too. No. I put you, you out of your misery. You're already dead, though. You get an assist at the most. You don't get yeah. the, you don't get credit for the kill. True. You, you stabbed them in their already holy neck. I don't think you get anything. It was still moving. It kept... is, uh, as Luca and Fiona are running out, you look over, you glance, and you see, like, the, the head of Kalani just like... Ah as you run past it because he just cut the head off he didn't stab his knife into the brain so Kalani's head is animated I'd like to think if I ever did find the sharpie that I drew some things on the head as well but I only needed the sharpie because I wanted to draw on ears I had a talent for leadership or some shit (laughs) Yeah, you know, there's oh, yeah, the, I've, there's rules for that. Like you can it, during. I'm sorry again. I knew I'd be screwing up a bunch of stuff not knowing all this. There, you can make a leadership role to bark commands to people to give like, and then if you succeed on that, you give extra dice to like tell them like, hey, shoot that one, shoot that one. That if you make the same kind of thing as helping, but it's a leadership role. Say so I'll get a the rules out to everybody to to read through, so I'm not the only one forgetting things. You can help me forget stuff. That was uh, kind of a nice little one-shot set rule, though. Yeah, so it's... I see that... Uh, as anything, I guess it could work as a campaign, but it just seems really good for one-shots. Oh, yeah. Um, no, too many... But you, I don't think you could do a really long-term campaign. You could do, like, a short-term series, but kind of like, uh, you know, you're at least losing, like, two to three people a session unless you're really lucky. Yeah, of course, there's... a. Uh, I'm assuming, I don't remember reading in here if you get XP or not. I would assume you would. It's on the character pages. Well, that's on in Alien. I know you do in Alien. Oh, okay. 
and say a lot of their systems are very similar, but they'll use different mechanics and stuff. This is the only other one I've seen that's close to Alien. Uh, that I, I know there's different ones in uh, Forbidden Lands. I know like equipment can wear out. There's something with equipment. A degradation there. It doesn't use stress in that. It uses a different mechanic. Mutant Year Zero is the the core base engine. And I'm not sure what mechanic they use in that one. And then uh, I've never looked at Vossen, but I know that's another one of theirs. But uh, they do they do decent stuff. Say so they definitely the combat. I do like that it is much quicker because it's just the opposed roll and everybody's limited to three hit points. It makes it hella deadly. But um, sure, you get stuff in there if you had like, hey, I've got flak armor. Work because I know there's uh, let me double check that you can get yeah, that for absorption. Believe. I was worried when I got my ears bitten off until you got bitten in the throat. It's like, you know what? My day's looking not so bad. <laughs> that's why I'm... Because that's a... it's That chart's underneath the single walker attack, so the one where you mess up on your stress die, then uh, it's like it triggers like a... It could be other stuff, but typically that represents just from out of nowhere getting attacked by... A, it's just a single one, one and done, and that's what that chart's for. But I'm just... I've got to double check... I don't think I was handling the one-on-one -on -one attacks correctly. Because okay. I figured it's like if it attacked you, it's just one point of damage each hit. But again, it's like, is that a bite or just a, a kind of pummeled you? Typically, I think it's supposed to be a bite because that's their main way of damaging. But I say I will definitely read through this. It's... uh fast and loose and a lot of narrative driven because even reading through her examples it's giving is like the players telling okay i gotta mess up this is what happens and the players giving the narrative of it so that's kind of cool jackson, but jackson in another world we could have been sharing a candy queen of vision of you but no oh, we'll yeah, see how it kids. works on the next one hopefully it'll be a, a bit smoother and i can get names on the overlay next time so people yeah, know who yeah. the hell's who Dude, I'm and still down for Alien too. I definitely want to do that one as well. But I'd like mm -hmm. to get the... Because I've got one more adventure for this. And then I've got yeah. more stuff for uh, Alien. Because I've got the first two. And then there's a third one. I don't know if it's out yet or not. But there's basically... The first one kind of mirrors, gives homage to Alien. Where y'all are some basically space truckers doing a thing. And then... The second one, Space truckers. yeah, that's basically <laughs> what they were. Uh, then the second yeah. one is basically aliens because you play colonial Marines in that one. And I haven't seen the third one yet or it's not out yet, but we'll definitely get to doing those some too. Cause it's just seems it's aliens is real fun. But, uh, I guess thank you everyone who hung out with us tonight. Thank you for the raids and the follows. Appreciate it. Uh, sorry I didn't have a complete overlay and was probably butchering rules a whole lot for anybody that may and actually players. know them. <laughs> but uh, appreciate it. Hang on through the credits and I'll find us someone to raid and we'll catch you Tuesday for Kelsto's game, Midnight Central. Have a good night, everybody. I'm with the great good night, everybody. in the sky now. Night. Yes, we made it up. <laughs> <laughs>